following is a presentation of Westwood One Sports. If it's the NCAA tournament, it's on Westwood One. It will be Grant Hill to make the pass. They're not going to guard Hill making the inbounds pass. Here's a high looper. There's Leitner. He turns. He shoots. It is good. Christian Leitner hits a turnaround 17-footer at the buzzer. And the Duke Blue Devils head to Minneapolis. My, oh, my. Gators down by two. Get it in for Chioza. Two seconds. One second. Chioza tosses it up. Oh! Oh! A miracle! Chioza! It goes for the win! The Florida Gators are going to the Elite Eight. 76 59. Every dog has his day, and this day belongs to the Huskies. UConn has its fifth men's basketball national championship in school history. Now it's time to head courtside for Westwood One's exclusive coverage of the NCAA tournament. We welcome you to Spectrum Center in Charlotte, North Carolina for exclusive second round coverage of the 2024 Men's Basketball Championship between the number seven seed, the Texas Longhorns, and the two seed, the Tennessee Volunteers. The winners off to Detroit for the Midwest Regional. Tonight's broadcast of the NCAA Tournament of the Westwood One, NCAA Radio Network is sponsored by Cintas, by Coles, by Renewal, by Anderson, by CDW, by Progressive Insurance, and by NCAA.com. Hi, everybody. I'm Jason Benetti, along with Casey Jacobson. Brad Heller will join us later from the Westwood One Broadcast Center. The Texas Longhorns last made the Final Four in 2003. Before that, they did it twice in the 1940s. It was a different feat at that point. So in the modern era, the only head coach to bring Texas to the Final Four is Rick Barnes, who is wearing a slightly different shade of orange, a little more red and a little more green in the orange to make it brighter for Rick Barnes, who's on the other sideline in one of those awkward, high, we used to know each other <laughs> sort of scenarios with stakes up to the roof here in downtown Charlotte. And you got a guy in Ronnie Terry, who's the head coach of Texas, who treats Rick Barnes, you know, paraphrasing, but kind of like a father figure. They're very close. They spent t nearly 10 years on the bench together. What does this thing look like tonight? Well, it's obviously personal for those two guys. They have a lot of love and respect for each other, but it certainly is a coach versus a mentor. Uh, but while the headlines leading up to this game, Jason, are about the coaches, this game, like in between the lines, is of course going to be more about the players. Texas won on Thursday a couple days ago, despite just shooting 40% from the field as a team. And Texas's two top scorers, Max Aismas and Dylan DeSue, combined to shoot just 10 for 33. Those two guys are going to have to be a lot more efficient against one of the best uh, defenses in the country in Tennessee. And Tennessee dropped 83 points in their first game. It was kind of like an easy 83, including 11 three-pointers. This is Rick Farn's best offensive team that he's had since he's been in Knoxville. And I think he's going to try and flex that offensive muscle early in this one. It's Tennessee and Texas coming up. Up next, the keys to the game, the starting lineups, and the opening tip of number seven Texas against number two Tennessee. Winner gets Oregon or Creighton from the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. This is the men's basketball tournament. MLB Network Radio gets you ready for opening day with a tour of spring training. Baseball is back. Hear interviews with all-stars. This is Mike Trout. This is Bryce Harper. I'm Aaron Judge. This is Mookie Betts. And insight and analysis of all 30 teams. When I look at this rotation, I see it competing with some of the best rotations in baseball. Listen to your favorite team's preview show right now on the all-new SiriusXM app. Just search Spring Training. What do eight bags of concrete mix, a cooler full of 30-pound sea bass, and a 10-inch compound miter saw have in common? They're all things that are easier to load in and out of the bed of the new F-150, thanks to its new available pro-access tailgate that's also a swing gate. The new 2024 Ford F-150, tough this smart, can only be called F-150. Available starting early 2024, pro-access tailgate available starting spring 2024, cargo and load capacity limited by weight and weight distribution. 
The Women's NCAA Tournament is on Sirius XM. It is going to be fun. It is going to be interesting. For the best guests. Don Staley with us right now. And coverage of March Madness. Tune into Sirius XM College Sports Radio. Caitlin Clark! We've got you covered through the National Championship in Cleveland. It's all on Sirius XM College Sports Radio, Channel 84. Our Power 5 conference channels, 371 through 375. And the all-new Sirius XM app. If you only have a 401k, you're not getting the most for retirement. Wait, what? Add a Robinhood IRA on top, then they'll boost it by 3%. You can do that? And if you transfer in any retirement account, you get 3% on top of that. Is there a limit to the match? No limit. Robinhood Gold gets you the biggest contribution match of any IRA on the market. Sign up for Robinhood Gold at Robinhood.com slash boost by April 30th. Subscription fees apply. Investing involves risk. 3% match requires gold for one year from first match. Must keep IRA for five years. Match on transfers subject to additional terms and conditions. Robinhood Financial LLC, member SIPC. Back to Spectrum Center, Charlotte, Tennessee, and Texas getting ready to tangle in round of 32 action. He's known, yes, for six years at Providence and four at Clemson, but Rick Barnes from 1998 to 2015 was the head coach of the Texas Longhorns, a Final Four team in 2003. They lost to Syracuse, the Kevin Durant era as well that so many people looked up to in the state, and now Rick Barnes is over on the Tennessee sideline, and on that story, here is his own volunteer senior guard, Josiah Jordan James. For coach, he definitely doesn't make it bigger than it is. You know, he has no hard feelings towards that university. But, you know, for us, we kind of take it upon ourselves to make things right with him because we know that this is a huge game for him, even though he doesn't want it to be. Uh, we want to come out with a victory. And obviously, in this time, part of the season, was win or go home. And, you know, obviously, they're just another team in the way. But, you know, the UT versus UT rivalry is something that's new and we're excited about and we love winning. Who doesn't love winning? And that rivalry is going to continue on in the SEC. On the court today, that's next year, by the way, a key will be the current SEC player of the year, Tennessee's Dalton Connect. Here is Texas's 25-year-old, sixth-year senior, Brock Cunningham on Connect. He's an extremely potent player. You know, he can shoot the ball far away from the basket. He's extremely athletic, a well-rounded player. Um, I mean, he's just dynamic, and we're going to have to put a lot of focus on the working to stop him. Dalton Connect, 21st in the country in shot percentage. He takes a third of Tennessee's shots when he's on the floor. All right, it's time for Casey Jacobson's Keys to the Game, sponsored by the members of the National Association of Realtors. There's a lot to buying a home. Negotiations, inspections, timelines. Realtors have the expertise to guide you through the process. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. And more than 6% of the keys to the game. Casey Jacobson, let's start with Texas here, the 7 seed. Three-point shooting for the Longhorns because I think that Texas might have a hard time finishing at the rim against Tennessee's center Jonas Adu. So my question is, can Max A. Smith and, and Tyrese Hunter and, and Horton off the bench, can those guys make some threes to loosen up this defense? And then for Tennessee, I'm talking offensive rebounding. Tennessee has actually not shot it very well in the month of March if you combine all their games to close the regular season, the SEC tournament, and their game on Thursday. So offensive rebounds and second chance points will be the Volunteers' friends. They average 12 offensive rebounds a game, which is very good. Now those often lead to layups or open threes from Dalton Connect. Who put up 23 and 8 in the first round against the St. Peter's Peacocks? Let's check the starting lineup sponsored by Cintas. Work days are better when you partner with Cintas. Keep your team protected, prepared, and looking great. Visit Cintas.com and get ready for the workday. We'll begin with those Texas Longhorns under the direction of Rodney Terry in his first full season as head coach. Tyrese Hunter in the backcourt, the junior from Racine, Wisconsin, who gets them 11 points a game at about 32 minutes a game. Max Asmus, who you mentioned, 17 points a game, 35 minutes per. He's top 65 in the country in minutes played. He's joined by Ithiel I.T. Horton in the backcourt, a guard from New Jersey, then Dylan Mitchell and Dylan DeSue in the frontcourt for Texas. Hunter, Asmus, and Horton, Mitchell, and DeSue. For Tennessee, the diminutive point guard, Zakai Ziegler, a junior from Long Island, 12 points a game, 
31 minutes a game. Then Santiago Vescovi, a do-everything guard for them. Hasn't scored a ton recently since February 7th, just 3 for 13 from 3. He'll be joined by the SEC Player of the Year, Dalton Connect, out of Thornton, Colorado. And then Josiah Jordan James, the senior from Charleston in the front court, with Jonas Adub, who joined us post-game the other day after 15 points and 6 rebounds in 20 minutes. He's got double figures in 9 of the last 10. He's a junior from up the road in Durham. Ziegler, Vescovi, Connect, James, and Adu. You're starting five. Time for the opening tip-off, sponsored by Progressive. Protect your home and auto. Save when you bundle. Get a quote at Progressive.com. Tip from Adu to Tennessee, right to left. Wearing the white with creamsicle orange down the sides, left and right. Zip a pass, middle of the lane. Adu turns. He lost the ball on the way up, and it's taken away by Ithiel Horton for Texas up the right flank. Max A. Smith pushed by Vescovy into the right pocket. He gives it up for Tyrese Hunter. Perimeter right. So much orange out there. <laughs> it looks, I mean, it, lo it really does look like a produce stand. <laughs> I, I love oranges, so I'm all about it. Yeah, look, you got to get your vitamin C. Yep. Top of the key three, A. Smith. That's no good wide left. That was a logo three. Rebound Tennessee. Ziegler low to the ground, right to left. Hook a pass left side. James down low, Adu. Inside left, missed the shot. Caught at the rebound. Lost it at the end line. Here comes Texas left to right. Two We're touches for Adu, zero points so far. That is not what we saw the other day. Left of the circle, DeSue. A three in the air. It's a bullseye. Dylan DeSue, 46% from three. 0 for 8 the last two games from three. He's got a Longhorn lead, 3 nothing. about 15 in. He's got a slow release, too, but that was pure. Just kind of coils into it. Now Adu short corner right on DeSue. Handing off Ziegler. Tried to whip a pass mid lane. Adu juggled, and it's taken away. Fleeced by Max Aismas. Around the arc to DeSue, driving one-hander, long levers. He missed it around and out. And the rebound for Vescovy, the Uruguayan for Tennessee. Vescovy driving right alley. Kick it into the right corner, a bluff on a three from James. He runs it up and in, going glass for two. And the opening bucket for Josiah Jordan James for Tennessee. That's important for him. Josiah Jordan James had zero points on Thursday, but he did have three steals and a block. He's always good defensively. Ziegler just prodded it out of the hands of Aismas into the backcourt. He'll recover and circle to left of center. Off for DeSue. Sharp bounce right wing. Hunter got caught in midair and he traveled with it. He came back down, tried to drop the ball to himself, but uh, no. Yeah, that was Zakai Ziegler giving the extra effort, and Zakai would have blocked that shot if Hunter didn't uh, bounce it. So a turnover either way, likely. So Texas leading 3-2 to two over Tennessee. Volunteers with the basketball at the left end. Here is James, left of the circle, with the long arms of Mitchell on him, bracing for a drive. Instead, it's to Vescovy, right of center at the hash mark. Now for Ziegler, who's been a more frequent shooter recently, tried to get it into the post. He does for Adu, who whirls and fires and misses. And the rebound, Aismas in Texas, in all burnt orange, left to right. Jonas Adu is completely out of sync right now. Eastmas a drive for Texas, tried to drop it off, stolen by Ziegler with a back tap. Up the right flank, he veers into the front court. Drive and kick, right corner. James to Vescovy, Connect wants it, he bulls down the lane. Mid post shot off the window, no. Follow wouldn't go for James. He tried to stuff it down and Texas has it, claiming it left to right. 3-2, Longhorns the lead. Three minutes and eight seconds in. Eastmas a statuesque dribble. Popping it for DeSue left of the circle against Adu. It's a one dribble handoff for Hunter at the left wing. He rang it off the leg of Adu. It rolls back to him. He plays it for Horton right of the circle. Breaking down on the dribble on Vescovy who bodies him and gets a steal for Ziegler mid lane. Sakai Ziegler right to left. The lightning bug into the front court for the Tennessee Volunteers. Pocket pass low left. Adu a stop and that's what he needed. 4-3 Tennessee 16-20 in the first. He needed to catch the ball. Jonas Adu is a very good player, but started this game 0 for 2 from the field and also two turnovers, but then there was no resistance there. He just dunked an easy one. He's a very good defensive player as well on the all-SEC defensive team. DeSue backing in on James. Elbow to elbow. Help from Vescovy. He whips it around the arc for Hunter. Driving on the bigger connect. Ship it left corner. DeSue feigns a three. Drives in. And he's hit and fouled by Josiah Jordan James. 
That's his first and the very first in our ball game. 4-3, Tennessee, our score. 15-54 to go first half. From the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network, this is the Men's Basketball Tournament. Hey, this is Matt Schick. March Madness is finally here, and Sirius XM Big Ten Radio is your home for all the action. Tune in to Big Ten This Morning, weekdays from 8 to 11 a.m. Eastern, as we recap the day's scores and stories from the NCAA Tournament. Keep up with your favorite teams and players as they battle their way through the bracket. He leaves it for Edie, who dunks Zach Edie with another two-handed slam jamma Catch Big Ten This Morning, weekdays starting at 8 a.m. Eastern on Channel 372 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. Did you hear that? That's what an estimated 500 horsepower sounds like. Extra, give it to you. How about that? That's a premium banging Olufsen sound system with 18 speakers and a Biosonic sound experience. And that, <laughs> that's our legacy. You ready to be a part of it? Extra, give it to you. Unlock the energy of the all-electric ZDX Type S. Give up. Order now at Acura.com. March Madness is finally here. The most For the best analysis and coverage of the NCAA tournament, tune into Sirius XM College Sports Radio. Oh, he bangs it home! From the title contenders to the Cinderella teams, we've got you covered through the national championship in Phoenix. We really don't know how teams are going to respond in March. It's all on Sirius XM College Sports Radio Channel 84, our Power 5 conference channels 371 through 375, and the all-new Sirius XM app. Yeah. You know you need protein to fuel results, but it's not easy when you're drinking the same bland chalky shake every day. Stop punishing yourself and get to GNC for the best protein in the game, including all the hottest brands and crave-worthy flavors that'll keep you coming back for more. We're talking protein that legit tastes like cookies, your favorite cereals, indulgent desserts, and more. So bust out of your protein rut and actually look forward to those shakes with unbeatable protein at unbeatable prices. Fuel your fitness with protein at GNC. Yeah. Full of tournament games coming up on Westwood One, sponsored by Duluth Trading Company. Duluth Trading Company stacks your starting lineup with higher performing gear all year round, plus keeps all your zones covered and comfy online or in store. Get into Duluth today. A couple more games yet to tip off. Both 3 11 matchups in Omaha. Duquesne against Illinois. That's 8 50 p.m. Eastern Time. And then in Pittsburgh, Time TBA. It is the Dana Altman Bowl. Creighton against Oregon. Dana was thrilled about that when he saw the pairings come out. I mean, he loves that Creighton program. Ended up at Oregon, and that will be uh, an emotionally charged deal, just like ours. Rick Barnes against. Texas 15 54 to go first half 4 3 Tennessee. I think Oregon and Creighton had one of those secret scrimmages like two years ago, but that was a secret scrimmage. This is for all the marbles. Yeah, this is a very public uh, all the marbles <laughs> non scrimmage. Texas left to right into the ball game. Kendall Weaver, who was enormous in that game two days ago. Acemas top of the key. Ball fake. Kick it left wing. Hunter juggled it back to Aismas. Left wing triple is way short an air ball, and it's a shot clock violation, even though Tennessee was going to sprint the other direction. Aismas has taken a couple of long shots, and Ohio State fans are like, well, couldn't he have missed him against us in the bubble? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, he was awesome when he was at Oral Roberts. Uh, on Thursday, though, Aismas was just 5 for 15 from the field, and both of the shot attempts here have come well beyond the three-point arc both contested and tennessee will really screech the brakes on your offense as they did right there jemai mayshack the junior from fontana california has checked in zakai ziegler casing the perimeter top of the key trying to speed down the lane kick for mayshack back to ziegler top of the key triple is wide to the right rebound tipped by cunningham and it trickled off his fingertip out of bounds off of texas over the sideline meeting the end line and it's tennessee basketball Brock Cunningham playing his 147th career game, only 18 starts. He has been a huge bench guy for Texas through his career. And he's got his right thumb wrapped. It is broken, and he's going to deal with the consequences after the season's over. But right now, he's playing through. They just play, play on. Vescovy, hopscotch on the dribble at the right wing, looking for an entry feed. Instead, he'll flare it out for connect against Kendall Weaver. Connect against Weaver, trying to drive him, had to give it up. Right side, Vescovy, crowbar away by Ace Miss. 
Texas left to right. Max Aismas angling to the right. Weaver ran into Vescovy, goes up on a cut, and a foul call that is Shedrick going to the free throw line. Caden Shedrick got jostled and fouled. He'll get two free throws. So Rodney Terry has two different big guys. He starts Dylan DeSue, who's 6'9", a little bit more of like a perimeter type of center, and then he brings in Caden Shedrick, who is a back-to-the-basket, more of a screen and diver to the rims. you got to be able to prepare for both. Shedrick will go to the free throw line. This is his 108th game played. Free throw is no good. He is a North Carolina native out of Holly Springs as well. The official NCAA ticket exchange is the only NCAA approved place to buy and sell authentic 100% guaranteed Final Four tickets with other fans. Visit the official NCAA ticket exchange today at NCAA.com slash exchange. Free throw no good. Second one is on the way and through. And to your point, Rodney Terry loved his bench minutes the other day in that win. Yeah, because you can play inside out through Shedrick and score at will down there. Jordan Ganey is on off the bench for Tennessee. Catch and shoot, right wing triple, hoisted up. That's a rounded out. Offensive rebound down low, Awaka, and he's scraped on the arm. Tobe Awaka will go to the free throw line. He came out with a leg injury in the game on Thursday, as it looks like Brock Cunningham is called for the foul on the reach in. That looked to me, I'm looking at the replay right now. That was a lot of ball on Brock Cunningham, and the referee that called that, Vern Harris, did not have the right angle. He kind of was blocked by it. But Tennessee gets a break. Free throw good for Awaka, the Poughkeepsie-born sophomore for the Tennessee Volunteers. He's a New York Gatorade player of the year a couple of years ago, the same award that Tobias Harris won back in 2010. The Former volunteer, second free throw good. Awaka two for two. Tennessee six to four over Texas, 14 18 of the first. Longhorn basketball on the dribble, slowly toward the front court. Max Aismith. He slightly angles to the left, right near official Tommy Morrissey. Off to Weaver, who crosses over on the dribble. He stalls right lane line, out to Aismith's right wing. Shot fake and drive. Shot over Mayshack, dangles off the rim. Rebound for Tennessee, right to left. Ziegler with his eyes up, looking around, surveying to connect right of the circle, catch and shoot three, no dice off the bracket, rebound tipped by Meshack to Texas, left to right. Longhorns trailing six to four. Hunter oh. skids down the lane on a nasty crossover, missed the shot on the doorstep, front iron. Rebound Tennessee right to left, Dalton connect, barreling down the lane, offensive foul, he absolutely toppled Kendall Weaver, who took the charge, and a major connection from Dalton to Kendall, a foul on Tennessee. And heads up play by Kendall Weaver, who we saw on Thursday night just come in and absolutely put his fingerprints everywhere on the game on both ends. But he is most known as a defensive player. And after he took that charge against Dalton Connect, he let out one of those primal screams like, yeah, I got myself a, a stop against one of the best scorers in the country. He was on the ground glistening with sweat as they're going to say oh turnover because Hunter ran the baseline. He moved. It wasn't a made shot, so he cannot move his feet. We've seen that a couple of times in this tournament, Casey. He just, it was a mental, like a brain fart. And he looked over to the referee and immediately understood, like, oh, yeah, that was me. I messed up. Ziegler was calling for it. He saw the travel. And now the inbound for Tennessee. Baseline left. They'll get it in, a hook a pass in the middle of the lane for Awaka, and he rises and scores. Tobe Awaka mid lane makes it 8-4 Tennessee, and Texas struggling to score right now without a field goal in five and a half minutes. Oh, and Hunter tried to flip it to the left. It was deflected by Tennessee. Ziegler was over there in close defense. 13-15 to go, first half. 8-4 Tennessee. Zakai Ziegler, number five in white, five foot nine, but is the SEC defensive player of the year this year, and he is everywhere. Body to body with Hunter. He works around a Cunningham screen to stay with him and stick with him. Outside right, Dylan Mitchell trying to drive on Awaka. Meshack picks him up. Off to Weaver, circling to the foul line. Hand off Mitchell, power dribble. It's raked out of his hands and out of bounds off of him. Jordan Ganey put his hand in and punctured the ball away. That was going to be a sure dunk or layup by Texas. Their easiest basket they have, but... Jordan Ganey just doesn't give up on the play. This defense, uh, Texas fans know about Rick Barnes. Defense and rebounding here, 8-4, seven minutes in. 
Ganey slings it around the arc. Ziegler against Weaver. Sharp bounce deep in the post. Awaka had it ripped away downstairs. Nice defense by DeSue. Left to right, Texas. That was strength on strength, and he just pulverized that ball out of his hand. Here is Ace Miss, a high lob. Rainbow to DeSue, trying to back in on Ganey. He's got the size advantage, stalking him. Help comes. It gets kind of an aborted mission there. DeSue went up with it. Texas pulls it down. Weaver driving right lane line. He scores. Kendall Weaver, Johnny on the spot. First field goal for Texas in about six and a half minutes. It is 8-6 Tennessee, 8.50 or eight minutes in, I should say. Tennessee basketball, a drive from Ziegler, down the baseline, shot, no, second chance, no, third chance, oh. yes, downstairs, a wrestling match for Tennessee, and two there for Awaka, he's got six. Outside right, Cunningham, feigned the three, circling it around through Mitchell to Max Aismas with the ball, off to DeSue, now Aismas again, 11.40 to go, first half. Cunningham whips it down low. We get a foul before a Mitchell layup. DeSue ended up on the ground. Tobe Awaka is standing over top of him. And if that's Awaka, and it is, that's his second personal foul. That's big news for Tennessee. Tobe Awaka has six points, but he's going to likely have to hit the bench. Rick Barnes does not typically play guys with two personal fouls in the first half. There's a break in the action. The score, Tennessee 10, Texas 6. 11.38 to go. First half, you're listening to the Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Hey, what are you doing up on the step stool? About to clean these light fixtures. The whole family's coming over. And if there's even a speck of dust in the house, my abuela will find it. Here, I got a Swiffer Duster to help with that. A Swiffer what? A Swiffer Duster. It has this cool extendable handle that reaches six feet to get high and low with fluffy dusters that easily trap and lock dust. So no more step stool? No more step stool. Easily trap and lock dust from hard to reach places with the Swiffer Duster. Love it or your money back. Great-looking uniforms are an expression of teamwork, confidence, and pride. Cintas can help make sure your team is dressed to perform their best every day. We offer workwear and apparel that's comfortable and durable with a modern fit. From work shirts and pants, to polos and khakis, to Oxfords or t-shirts. And it all comes with weekly laundry service and delivery right to you. To learn more, visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. Jeff, I'm standing courtside where this team is about to celebrate a staggering win here in the fourth quarter. I just spoke with the team captain who told me they owe it all to Kohl's, where fans found the license gear, game day hosting fines, and other essentials they needed to rally this team to victory. He said, quote, great brands, great prices. Discover it all at Kohl's and Kohl's.com. Back to you. Technology helps keep everyone comfortable with a smart thermostat. Turn temperature down. Temperature down. Turn temperature up. Temperature up. But to keep everyone on your team working comfortably, you need more than technology. You need CDW to custom configure Dell Client Solutions devices. Adaptive AI-based software creates a personalized user experience and boosts collaboration so they can stay cool and collected. Temperature down. Temperature up. I'm staying out of this. Dell Client Solutions make adaptive performance possible. CDW makes it powerful. Learn more at cdw.com slash Dell Client. Welcome back to our Granger courtside seats in Charlotte. Along with Casey Jacobson, I'm Jason Benetti. When you need products at a pinch, Granger's got you covered. Get same day pickup and next day delivery on most orders. Call, clickgranger.com, or stop by to get what your business needs. Our score Tennessee 10, Texas 6, 11 38 to go in the first, Casey Jacobson. Jonas Adu is now back in the game, but I want to reiterate, he was not ready to play at the start of this game. And Tobe Iwaka comes in and just wreaks havoc on everything. He, would, he had six points, four rebounds, but he just picked up his second foul. So now let's see if, if, if Jonas Adu has woken up. Sometimes that'll happen. You just have to watch for a little while as A. Smith. Has still not hit a field goal. He drops it off the hand of DeSue, who equips Aismas with nine to shoot. Lob pass goes to DeSue. Wide left of the lane. His jump shot is good. Smooth for Dylan DeSue. He has five of the eight for Texas. 10-8 volunteers. Well, that's DeSue, who's 6'9", in the mid post against Jordan Ganey, who's 6'3". He didn't do anything but just rise up and shoot. Clean look. 
Outside left, Mayshack tried to shove it into the post, and we have a foul against the Longhorns. It's on Dylan DeSue. That's his first personal. And for Texas, just the Longhorns' second personal. And now Texas has gone to their big lineup, which we didn't see a ton of on Thursday. So they got Caden Shedrick, 6'11", at center, and now that pushes Dylan DeSue to the power forward spot. Yeah, Mitchell in the ball game, along with Weaver as well. Here's a lob to the rim. Adu, a touch up and in. Jonas Adu skyscraping for two. 12-8 Tennessee. Maybe he's ready to go now. There it is. Yeah, simple play. He started in the corner. It's just a simple back screen. Throw it right to the rim. Zakai Ziegler just stapled to Max Acemus right now. Acemus lost him. Veers to the right by him. Pulls up at the elbow. That's a round and out. That was filthy by Acemus to get an open look. Now Ziegler on a counterattack trying to weave through. Kicks it left wing. Three in the air. No good off the heel by James. And the rebound goes bounding out of bounds off of Tennessee. It's Texas basketball. 10.37 to go first half. 12-8 Tennessee. It's just a three-and-a-half-hour drive here to Charlotte through the Great Smoky Mountains. You take a look at Asheville out your right side window or so. I don't know why I became a yeah, Carolina-Tennessee no, tour guide. Like, yeah, I'm on a tour. It's fun. I, I like it so far. The weather's nice. <laughs> we'll keep the announcements to a minimum. 10.37 to go first half. Tennessee 12, Texas 8. And here come the Longhorns in burnt orange. Zigzagging into the front court. Acemus kills the dribble. Finds Hunter catching the ball, sweeping at his hips, taken away, up ahead, and here comes a layup for Ganey. He reached in, he stole it, he got himself two, and it's 14 to 8 Tennessee. Every single player for Rick Barnes plays defense. They are all in the stance and connected. It's impressive to watch. Aceman circling top of the key, gets it back from Mitchell, left wing, sharp bounce to Mitchell, power dribble, his shot wiped away, erased by Adu, connects swooping in from the left wing into the front court for Tennessee, out to Ziegler, he tries to duck into the lane and he is pushed and fouled, it was Max Aceman called for that personal, his first, Adu. A vanquishing of Mitchell. He's back. <laughs> I don't know where he was at the start, but our guy who's back. Smell good, play good. <laughs> smell good, play good. We interviewed him after the game. He is a smell, uh, I don't know, a smellionado? Smelling aficionado? Yeah. Try to combine those. He owns in between 40 and 50 colognes. That's crazy. An aromophile, maybe? Ar I don't know. <laughs> Connect rises in the corner. He misses off the bracket. Offensive rebound, Tennessee. High over everybody for James. Now Ziegler, top of the circle, breaking left, fanning it out right. James driving baseline, reverse layup, around and in. Burley drive, Josiah Jordan James. Tennessee has its largest lead, doubling up Texas, 16 to 8, 937 in the first. There's a break in the action. The score, Tennessee 16, Texas 8. In a 2-7 matchup, 9.37 to go first half. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA radio. Now Quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty picks up spills quicker. And each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less than the leading ordinary brand. So you can get back to your night. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. I lock up my Old Spice Fiji Aluminum Free Dry Spray to keep that 24-7 lasting freshness safe for myself. Fresh coconuts, palm trees in the wind. It's like catching waves in Fiji. Actually, I just talked myself into a refreshing spritz of Fiji. My Old Spice is missing! No! It's NCAA championship time. Fans of the hustle. Present. Fans of the heart. Present. Fans of the flash, grit, and grind. Present. The best fans in the lands are bringing everything they got for their team. Be there when your squad hoists the ultimate trophy overhead. The NCAA championships. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash tickets. Class dismissed. Brad Heller back in the Verizon studios in Los Angeles. Get the network you can rely on for your phone and your home internet and save. Find the plan that's right for you 
at Verizon.com. NC State is trying to hold off Oakland. Wolfpack up 59-57, under five minutes to go. You can hear that finish on WestwoodOneSports.com, also on the Varsity Network app and Sirius XM. Meanwhile, Illinois and Duquesne, they are just underway in Omaha. The first game in Omaha, Iowa State beating Washington State 67-56. The Cyclones, second Sweet 16 in three years. Back to Charlotte, Jason Benetti and Casey Jacobson. Tennessee 16, Texas 8, 9.37 to go first half in Uptown Charlotte. And you can listen to Westwood One's exclusive coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament for free on the Varsity Network app. Listen to every game live or on demand. Download the Varsity Network app now and search NCAA Championships. 6-0 run for Tennessee, less than 90 seconds, Casey. It's early, no need to panic for Texas, but Tennessee has doubled up the Longhorns all on two-point field goals, and Dalton Connect, the leading scorer, one of the leading scorers in the country, yet to score. He's 0 for 3, yet Tennessee still with an eight-point lead. Jonas Adu, some good minutes from a starting position, then off the bench. Here is Aismas juggling against Vescovy, whipping it around the arc. Tyrese Hunter on a drive, left wing, pull up inside the arc is good. First bucket for Tyrese Hunter, the transfer from Ames, Iowa, 16-10, to 10, Tennessee. Jason, I think those shots are going to be there for Texas. I don't think they're going to be able to get all the way to the rim. Take those medium jumpers when they're there. This is a hard drive down the lane. Down went Josiah Jordan-James. Rebound Texas right up the zipper. Hunter dropping the shoulder and a blocking foul as Vescovy went like the 7 or 10 pin and just tumbled toward the gutter. It's a foul on Vescovy. That's his first. He went sprawling out wide. I mean, if you didn't know there was contact, all you had to do was watch Vescovy, who kind of wiped out like he was just <laughs> trying the skateboard for the first time. Now you're talking my language. I, I don't bowl, but I'm right. from Southern California and grew up on a skateboard. How about this substitution? J.P. Estrella checks in for the first time for the Tennessee Volunteers, a little used post player who gave some good minutes late in that win against St. Peter's the other day, and now he's there guarding the inbound. They have to parachute it all the way out to the top of the key, and here is Aismas, marked by Zakai Ziegler. Shedrick Roll didn't get the ball. Dessou now feeds it to him, and he stuffs it down. Tell you what, Shedrick was open the entire yep. possession. He got a dunk at 16-12. And you mentioned Estrella. He got lost, and Rick Barnes is questioning himself whether or not maybe this moment might be too big for him, for the youngster. Three left wings, Akai Ziegler off the heel. No, early shot Tennessee, rebound Texas. Aismas strings the dribble into the front court, defended by Vescovy. He switches back into the lane, kick out Hunter. Three left wing, our round and out. Rebound for a soaring South American, Santiago Vescovy into the front court, right to left. Vescovy two hands it left of the lane, Adu jump shot, no, hit the front of the iron, and the rebound secured by Hunter. The bench says go, so he listens. Green light from Rodney Terry, left to right into the front court. Hunter scoops it for Dessou at the summit. Zip it wide left of the lane, caught by Mitchell. Turning, rising, low left, it dangled off the rim. He tipped it back up and in. He floated it through. Texas within two, 16-14, a 6-0 run for the Horns. Ziegler kick up top, Adu was alone. Flat-footed, didn't take the three. Tennessee basketball right to left. Ziegler lost control. He regathers at the March Madness logo. 7.35 to go first half. Tennessee by two. In a close ball game, winner goes to the Sweet 16 to face Creighton or Oregon. Connect hopping on the dribble. Veering right against Mitchell. Fadeaway jump. Really tough. Grazed the iron. Out of bounds. Off of Estrella. And here comes Texas with the ball when we come back. The Longhorns have the last six points. Tennessee is on a 2-15 drought. And there's a break in the action. The score. The Volunteers 16. The Longhorns 14. 7.22 to go first half. You're listening to the Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One. NCAA Radio Network. Word. Texting privacy policy and terms and conditions posted at textplan.us. Texting rules for occurring automated text marketing messages. Message and data rates may apply. Apply stop, opt out. Minimum purchase required. Interest accrues from date of purchase, but is waived if paid within promotional period. Go to windowappointmentnow.com for full offer details. Hey, College Hoops fans, it's the best time of year again. And if you're a homeowner, there's more to love than just incredible basketball action. Because right now, you can save hundreds of dollars replacing your old windows and doors with Renewal by Anderson, sponsor of Westwood One's coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. Right now, save $377 off every window and $777 
$10 off every door. Just text MARCH to 323232 for your free consultation and free price quote on top quality affordable renewal by Anderson windows or patio doors for no dollars down, no payments, and no interest for a year. That's right. You don't pay a dime for an entire year. Text MARCH to 323232 right now to save $377 off every window and $777 off every door. But hurry, these big dollar savings won't last long. Text MARCH to 323232 before the savings madness ends. At Progressive, we know money can't buy you happiness, but money did help you buy an RV, which means an excuse from working Saturday with your insufferable coworker, Dave. So money is helping you listen to birds chirp instead of Dave chirping about how his toddler is fluent in three languages. And it's also why you'll be smelling pine trees in the air, not Dave's tuna melt reheating in a microwave. So save money by bundling your RV or boat insurance with home or auto from Progressive and buy more happiness or something close to it. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers. Not available in all states. Great looking uniforms are an expression of teamwork, confidence, and pride. Cintas can help make sure your team is dressed to perform their best every day. We offer workwear and apparel that's comfortable and durable with a modern fit. From work shirts and pants to polos and khakis to Oxfords or T-shirts. And it all comes with weekly laundry service and delivery right to you. To learn more, visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready. And get ready for the workday. You can listen to the live stream of every game of the NCAA Men's Tournament right here on Westwood One, sponsored by Wendy's. Get a Dave's single for just a dollar and a Dave's double for just two bucks with the offers in the Wendy's app. Wendy's, the official hamburger of March Madness. Limited time offer at participating U.S. Wendy's. Redeem in Wendy's app. Account registration required. See offer in Wendy's app for details. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network, your home for the national championships. Find out what channel your team is playing on by going to SiriusXM.com slash sports. Tennessee 16-14 over Texas, 7-22 in the first, and this has been uh, this has been a blue-collar deal so far. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's been up and down for each team. Tennessee still yet to make a three. They're 0 for 7 from behind the arc. And Texas, on the other hand, turnovers are, are killing them. Seven already. We still have over seven minutes to go in this one. Yeah, this Some, they only got to stick a fork in that ball. Uh, <laughs> this is not William Tell-like marksmanship so far from either team. As Texas has it, trailing by two. Hunter flicks it for Mitchell around the arc for Ace Smith near the center line. He threw it away, taken by Ziegler, sprinting into the front court. Zakai Ziegler falling to the ground, missed the shot, connect the follow. He's fouled on the way up. Ziegler backpedaled his way all the way into the lane, staggered. It was like a standing 10 count. And then Connect ended up cleaning it up. He'll go to the free throw line. Well, I understand what Zakai Ziegler was doing. He gets the steal, and he's basically in the open court. But because he's so small, he thought he was scared that his shot was going to get blocked. So he kind of slowed down, veered into the traffic, but it ended up taking him out of scoring opportunity. Which leads to a Connect free throw that is quietly through for Dalton Connect's first point of the day. 17-14 Tennessee with the lead. He's a transfer from Northern Colorado, the SEC Player of the Year. He also draws about six fouls a game as the free throw is on the way in through. 18-14 Tennessee, 6.57 to go in the first. Now, Connect actually started in junior college. His, his journey's been an interesting one. He has taken the scenic route to make his NCAA tournament debut, but had 23 points the other night and finally now on the board. One year in junior college, he had 15 or more points in every single game at Northeastern Junior College. Bluff on a 300, shuttles it, Acemas, top of the key, triple. He bags it. Max Acemas knocks down his first jumper of the day. Texas within one, 6.30 to go in the first. His first open jumper of the day, by the way. He is over from three. Low on the left side, tunneling in, Awaka rises, rolls it in. Tobe Awaka has eight points and two fouls. Back on the floor, Tennessee 20-17, to 17, 6-15 in the first. Well, he's been a human bulldozer down there in the lane so far in this one. He is a renaissance man, a well-read center, Tobe Awaka. Hopping on the dribble, Hunter delivers left side wing. Dessou for three in the tie, hits the front iron, rebound for Ziegler. Tiptoeing into the front court, Sakai Ziegler for Connect and his gleaming orange swoosh on his shoes. Connect turns it down the lane. Kick out right wing three. Vescovy in the air, no good. Rebound tip oh, no. and a foul on Awaka. 
Tobe Awaka over the back. That's his third personal foul in a jostling match for a rebound in the corner. And that is just carnage for Tennessee. It's a hand in the cookie jar moment. He just has to have the mental discipline because it was a good block off. Shot goes up and uh, Dylan Mitchell with the, the contact, he moves him out, and he just reaches right over the top. You just have to say, hey, that was a good block out, and I'll live to fight another possession. Instead, I mean, he's going to come out at 545 in the first. We will certainly not see him in the first half, and we'll see when in the second half. He's been enormous. Desue back to the basket, shoulders out. He's got the ball left of the circle. He finds the left wing. Here is Ace Smith juggling the ball, trying to drive. He undercuts a Tennessee player and a whistle, and we're going to have a tie-up. Tie-up will be Texas's basketball. They have to spatula Vescovy off the ground. Zakai Ziegler has not had a good offensive start to his afternoon, just 0 for 4. But does this guy just forget about that and play every defensive possession like it's his last? It looks like he's going 100 miles an hour at all times. And now the inbound pass deflected back out by Tennessee. 5.25 to go first half. Nine to shoot for Texas and Burnt Orange. Future SEC rivals, Texas and Tennessee, getting together to go to the Sweet 16. Aismas, side saddle with the ball at the left wing. Hemmed it at the sideline. His pass deflected by Ziegler. Sprinting into the front court. He's fouled on the way up. And he will go to the line. Tried to spin it in. Man, Zakai Ziegler, the quickest hands in the West, even though they're from the South. <laughs> I see what you did there, though. So Max Aismas is used to being guarded by the, be the other opposing team's best player. Yeah. But he has not played against a guy like Ziegler, who is... His equal as far as height, but is like his arms are so active and he gets a fingertip on nearly every pass. First free throw, no good. Whether you're looking for style, inspiration, or on trend pieces, turn any space into your happy place with Ashley. Shop Ashley's anniversary sale in store or online today. Will that sound happy enough to be a happy place? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to buy. Free throw is good. Ziegler goes one for two. 21-17, Tennessee the lead, 5-16 to go first half. Texas, the inbound pass, Cunningham has to jump for it in his own charge circle, and he sets it up for Tyrese Hunter. Crossing over, leaning down at eye level with Ziegler. He bounces it for Cunningham left of the circle, who has already sweat through his uniform. Weaver top of the key, delivering for Hunter back to the goal. At the right wing, stepping inside the arc. Crossover dribble on Ganey. Turns his back. Ganey walls him off. Off to DeSue. Left wing three. No good. Back iron. Rebound. Skying for it. Ganey. Up ahead, Ziegler, and he is fouled. Weaver ended up reaching in and fouling him. And then he got hit with the basketball that bounced to him as he was sitting on his rear end in the backcourt. I think Zakai Ziegler felt that... Weaver was on the ground behind him and kind of, you know, flicked the ball you back so? on purpose. You I'm just so? saying, I'm watching the replay right now. People he would do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'd do yeah, that. They would. All right. Foul on Texas, just the sixth against the Longhorns. Single bonus each way next. Shot off the window, no good. Ziegler, a wild shot right of the lane. And the rebound for Texas coming left to right. Dylan DeSue. Off to Horton High on the right with an untucked jersey. Texas working hard, trailing by four. Bowl of pass in for DeSue. Backing in right of the lane. Sweeps through to the right hand. Shot no good. An awkward shot on one leg. Rebound for James. Spinning it connect. Left wing triple in rhythm. No good. Front iron in the rebound for Texas left to right. Trailing by four. Tyrese Hunter zips it down low. Cunningham. Touch pass left corner. Horton triple. Uh-uh. Rebound way out to James. Trotting into the front court. He doubles back for Ganey. And they'll slow it down. 3.57 to go. First half. Tennessee by four. Floated into the post. Backing in Adu. Measuring his defender Cunningham. He rises and misses. Rebound James low left. Setting up Ganey. Hoisting a left wing three. That might have grazed the rim. But it certainly missed. Rebound Texas left to right. Nobody is e exactly shooting bullseyes here. Oh, Tennessee just... 27% from the field, Texas 35% right now. It's a defensive war. Tennessee 0 for 10 from 3. Pass out to Weaver. Power dribble. Cycle it around. Left side triple in the air. No good. Horton. Offensive board Cunningham. He lost yeah. it on the way up. And it's deflected at the end line. Inbounds by Ganey. Brilliant play. That was a meteor to Ziegler. Who fires a 3 right wing and spit it around and out. Rebound Texas. Tennessee 0 for 11. 
from three with a four-point lead at 3.05 in the first. Not sure why they're not playing through Adu or in, through the post. Cunningham in the lane, sways it back out to Sue. Shot fake, step inside. Floater from 15, misses. Too strong, rebound of the smallest guy on the floor. Zakai Ziegler at 5'9", in creamsicle orange for Tennessee. Another grinder for the Longhorns. Connect curling to the foul line. Settles himself with the right arm and kicks it out. Ziegler, 12 to shoot. Ziegler driving right lane line, kills the dribble. Spins it off a Longhorn down on the ground. Weaver plucks it from the deck and veers into the front court. Down the lane on Connect. Wild shot around and dancing out. And the rebound, Dalton Connect out of the fray. And we have a whistle and a foul against Texas before Connect could come out of the caravan of Orange. 2.19 to go. Half number one. They're going to go to the monitor and take a look at the foul here. This is going to be a flagrant one foul on Brock Cunningham, who just discarded Jordan Ganey. Two hands around him, just threw him down like a rag doll. We will get the official word when we come back. Good find there, Casey. Break in the action. The score, Tennessee 21, Texas 17. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. I feel like I'm constantly cleaning hair off my bathroom floor. At least my Swiffer Sweeper makes it easy. Sweeper heavy-duty dry cloths have ultra-thick pads to trap and lock hairs, like a hair magnet. And when I'm finished cleaning up my hair, Sweeper takes care of his, too. Now the hair's gone, all thanks to Swiffer. Try Swiffer Sweeper heavy-duty dry cloths. I promise you'll love them or your money back. And also try Swiffer Sweeper Wet to make quick work of tough, sticky messes. Getting ready to take on spring? Make your first move with the reliable performance and power of steel battery tools. From hedge trimmers and mowers to string trimmers and more, right now you can save $50 on select AK System battery tool sets. Real steel. Find yours at steelusa.com. Offer valid on select AK System sets for a limited time only while supplies last. See participating dealer for details. Marcus is a connoisseur of anything that's free, so he was happy to read the disclaimer on TurboTax Free Edition. Roughly 37% of taxpayers qualify. Form 1040 and limited credits only. See how at TurboTax.com. <laughs> that's me! File your taxes 100% free with TurboTax Free Edition and get your max refund guaranteed. See if you qualify to file for free at TurboTax.com. See max refund guarantee details at TurboTax.com guarantees. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Protect your engine with Shell Rotella motor oil at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Shell Rotella provides triple action to help control wear, deposits, and emissions, and adapts to your driving conditions. Right now, save $5 on all one-gallon Shell Rotella products. Limit supply. See your local O'Reilly Auto Parts store or O'ReillyAuto.com. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. Stay with us for the Wendy's NCAA Tournament Halftime Report. We'll check the scoreboard and hear from Creighton head coach Greg McDermott ahead of the Blue Jays and the Oregon Ducks in the last game of the second round tonight. That's coming up at the half, sponsored by Wendy's, the official hamburger of March Madness. Greg McDermott will be happy. Certainly still has the glow of his new contract on him. 21-17 Tennessee <laughs> with the lead over Texas. 2-19 in the first. The officials are still huddled up after what you think is going to be elevated to a flagrant one on Brock Cunningham. I do. There was a tussle underneath the basket and Brock just wrapped Jordan Ganey around like, like a bear hug and then threw him to the ground as that play. The official was right on it. He called it and then after he called the foul Jason he immediately circled for a review. He twirled his, his hand in the air so we're going to review this. And Cunningham looks like he's going to get called for a flagrant one, as you said. Tennessee and Texas getting together for the ninth time. They played last year in Knoxville. Tennessee was a winner by 11. The ninth time they have met, and certainly subplots galore, as Brock Cunningham will go to the bench, and Tennessee will have Ganey to the free throw line. Jordan Ganey will shoot two and then there's a one and one to follow after the common foul that was called as well. 
First free throw is good for Ganey, whose father, Justin, as we mentioned briefly the other day, is on the bench with Rick Barnes, a former NC State Wolfpack star. As the free throw trickles around and in for the younger Ganey, Jordan makes it 23-17 Tennessee, 2-19 to go in the first. Well, they're not going to shoot one-on-one uh, -on -one after this. They're just going to have the ball, full court. Okay, so it is Tennessee basketball. Pardon me. The administration is two free throws, Tennessee basketball. Here we go. Into the front court, Zakai Ziegler right to left. At the wing, defended by Hunter. He'll play it with one hand for James and stuff it into the belly of Connect, roving to the right. Dalton Connect hopping on the dribble, driving on Weaver, who's right with him. Kick right corner. That three is up and down. Zakai Ziegler finally buries one. 26-17 Tennessee. And finally, finally the balls hit from three. They're one for 12. Top of the key, Hunter, a jab step. Push it high on the right side, Dylan Mitchell. Texas down by nine, a buck 40 to go in the first. Dessou facing up on connect. He shoots over the top of him and rims it out. A high rebound for Josiah Jordan James for Tennessee. Zip it ahead. Connect trying to swoop in. Defended by Horton. His shot left-handed window good. Connect saw a crease and he filled it. 28-17. Tennessee over Texas. It's a 10-0 run. First make for Connect. Laser pass caught by Weaver off a juggle baseline right. Texas ball at the right end. Mitchell wraps a pass around. Horton with the catch, skittering on the dribble. He fires and hits it for two. Foot on the line for I.T. Horton. And it is now Texas closing in at 28-19. And Texas needed that one. So did Horton. He had zero points on Thursday. And he needed to stop the bleeding. Finally called the I.T. department and they answered. Left corner. Here is Ganey, prodding, walking back to the arc. 42 seconds left, half number one. Dalton Connect zings it into the corner. James on a drive after a shot fake, lays it up, and an offensive foul as he tumbled over the top of the defender, Dylan DeSue. So Josiah Jordan James just got called for his second personal. Awaka has three. I don't like this call. I'm watching it right now, and Josiah Jordan James tries to kind of veer to his left to avoid the, the, the charge call by Dylan DeSue, but the referee, I mean, he took that charge with his shoulder blade, yeah. and that was it. It wasn't like he, he took it on his chest. Later on, we'll select the coaching move of the day, sponsored by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Inbound pass tipped out of bounds. Think O'Reilly Auto Parts for all your car care needs. Get the parts and service you need fast from the professional parts people at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Texas will try to inbound again after a timeout called by Tennessee. The old use it or lose it will not stay in Rick Barnes' pocket. And so, there's a break in the action. The score, Tennessee 28, Texas 19, 34.6 to go in the first half in Charlotte. Winner to the Sweet 16. You're listening to the Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. It's one thing falling in love with a house, and quite another navigating the world of negotiating, mortgage lenders, and finding the budget that works best for you. Guidance from an agent who's a Realtor can make all the difference, because that's... We are. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. Feeling great starts with a great shave, and great shaves start with Barbasol Shaving Cream. That's Barbasol Shaving Cream, an American classic for over 100 years. Close Shave America, Close Shave Barbasol. Barbasol. Out of the huddle here in Charlotte, Spectrum Center in Uptown. It's 28-19 Tennessee over Texas, 34.6 to go. Half number one, Tennessee will have the basketball. It was off Texas, so the Volunteers have it on the turnover as Ziegler nearly hit the ground, went into a push-up position, and drops it off for Connect. 15 to shoot, under 30 to play in the first half. Connect grips it with the left hand. Crossing over to the right, defended by Shedrick. Sidestepping against him, seven to shoot. Connect starts his move, bullying into the lane. Step back, jump, off the heel, no. Rebound, Meshack, play it back, Connect. Left corner, three, too strong. Rebound, Meshack, popped in the air off the side of the backboard, out of bounds. Texas ball, ten and two tenths remaining. Half number one, two bullets dodged there. Yeah, Dalton Connect, he got the switch that he wanted against Texas' center, 6'11". And Caden Shedrick and took him to the left, pull up, and then Meshack got him a wide open three, missed him both. 
Dalton connects so far. One for eight. Inbound. Flared to DeSue. Play it back for Acemas. Seven to play. He hit a logo three at the end of the first half the other day. Right wing. Crossover dribble. Step back three over Mayshack. He missed this one long. The red square comes on on the backboard. And Tennessee has the halftime lead. 28-19. Trying to go to the Sweet 16. It would be their 10th since 1975 and texas only 19 first half points i'm trying to figure out if this is like really good defense or really bad offense or a combination of both but i thought tennessee just absolutely smothered texas max a smith has had no room to breathe but maybe one open shot they've been brilliant on him i think the low scoring first half is a contagion so Virginia had 14 against Colorado State in Dayton. Colorado State had 11 against Texas. And Texas has 19 against Tennessee. Just passing it along. I'm going to put my mask on. I don't want I, that. We don't need any of that no. stuff. Halftime score, Tennessee 28, Texas 19. When we return, we'll head back to our studios for the Wendy's Halftime Report from the Westwood One and CAA Radio Network. This is the Men's Basketball Tournament. Hey, college football fans, and this is Jacob Hester. All season long, we've followed the stars of tomorrow on College Sports Radio. And now we'll help you get ready for their next step, the 2024 NFL Draft. Every Thursday, check out a new episode of Draft Central on the SiriusXM app when Rhett Lewis interviews the top draft prospects as they work through the Senior Bowl, Combine, and ultimately wait to hear their name called in Detroit this April. Our team of experts on College Sports Radio gets you closer to the NFL Draft on SiriusXM Channel 84 and the SiriusXM app. You know the drill. If you sweat, you can chafe. Highland's Chafing Relief provides a complete chafing solution that both protects and soothes. And it's safe to use even on your most sensitive areas. The cream to powder finish stays in place to safeguard against chafing, even on the sweatiest days, and with no greasy residue. Missed a spot? Highland's Chafing Relief also includes soothing, moisturizing ingredients like aloe, calendula, and tea tree oil. Just apply as needed for calming relief. Find Highland's Chafing Relief in the first aid aisle at Walmart and CVS. It's tournament time on Mad Dog Sports Radio. Lock into Channel 82 throughout the day for wall-to-wall -wall tourney coverage. From live listen-ins to Westwood One's call. UConn has its fifth national championship. To instant reaction with you on the phone. The seeding this year has been a mitigated disaster. Mad Dog Sports Radio is your home for the upsets, the buzzer beaters, and non-stop NCAA tournament coverage. It's all on Channel 82 or anytime on the all-new Sirius XM app. If you only have a 401k, you're not getting the most for retirement. Wait, what? Add a Robinhood IRA on top, then they'll boost it by 3%. You can do that? And if you transfer in any retirement account, you get 3% on top of that. Is there a limit to the match? No limit. Robinhood Gold gets you the biggest contribution match of any IRA on the market. Sign up for Robinhood Gold at Robinhood.com slash boost by April 30th. Subscription fees apply. Investing involves risk. 3% match requires gold for one year from first match. Must keep IRA for five years. Match on transfers subject to additional terms and conditions. Robinhood Financial LLC. Member SIPC. Welcome to the Wendy's NCAA Tournament Halftime Report. Get a Dave's Single for just a dollar and a Dave's Double for just two bucks with the offers in the Wendy's app. Wendy's, the official hamburger of March Madness. Limited time offer participating U.S. Wendy's. Redeem in Wendy's app. Account registration required. See offer in Wendy's app for details. Now, here's your host, Brad Heller. A defensive struggle to say the least so far in Charlotte. Tennessee, the two seed in the Midwest, shooting 29%, but the Volunteers actually have the lead on the seven seed Texas. 28-19 at the break. Welcome inside our Westwood One studios in Los Angeles. Let's get right to the scoreboard. Oakland, NC State, the 14 versus the 11 in the south. The Wolfpack up by nine at one point, leading for most of this game, but the Golden Grizzlies battled back late in regulation. So much tension in this building right now. Cole shovels it down to Towson on the right block. Turnaround shot, good, and the foul. Oakland takes the lead. For the first time tonight, 62-61, and Trey Townsend's going to the line to try to complete a three-point play. Scott Graham on the call. They are in overtime right now. NC State up one, 68-67, 2.25 to go. Oakland will be shooting free throws. Trey Townsend leading all scorers with 28 points. Jack Golke, six more three-pointers. 
He has 22. You can hear that finish on westwoodonesports.com, also on the Varsity Network app. Meanwhile, in Omaha, the 311 matchup in the East Region, Illinois and Duquesne. It is all fighting Illini so far. Hawkins now to work, looking for Shannon. He finds him against the freshman nature. Shannon, a jab step, another jab step, a crossover, a second crossover. Up top to Hawkins. Three, top of the key, got it. Bowman Hawkins has indeed been activated. 24 to 9. Illinois threatening to run all the way to Boston. A big early lead and a timeout. Kevin Kugler with the call. Coleman Hawkins has three three pointers, already 11 points. The Fighting Illini up 34 13 on Duquesne, seven minutes to go in the first half. Iowa State already headed to Boston. The Cyclones, the two seed in the East, beat Washington State 67 56. North Carolina adding to its record 31 Sweet 16 appearances. The Tar Heels erase a 12 point deficit, beat Michigan State 85 69. They're going to LA. Gonzaga's going to Detroit. Bulldogs, nine straight Sweet 16. Teams. A huge second half to top Kansas, 89-68. And Arizona, the two seed in the West, also going to L.A. The Wildcats beat Dayton, 78-68. NC State up one on Oakland right now, 70-69, 148 left in the overtime. That is your tournament scoreboard, sponsored by CDW. CDW experts help you get more from your technology so you can do amazing things. CDW, make amazing happen. Tennessee up nine on Texas at the break, 28-19. Coming up, an interview with Greg McDermott before his Creighton Blue Jays take on Oregon. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA radio network. (coughs) Can't sleep with this cold. Honey. (coughs) Honey? Honey. You need NyQuil Severe Honey. NyQuil Severe Honey gives you powerful cold and flu symptom relief with a dreamy honey taste. Feeling better, honey? Honey? I'll take that as a yes. Try NyQuil Severe Honey for powerful cold and flu symptom relief. NyQuil Severe with honey flavor. The nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, fever. Honeylicious, best sleep with a cold. Medicine. Use as directed. Keep out of reach of children. This March, Wendy's has some amazing deals on their hamburgers made with fresh, never frozen beef. Like a juicy Dave single for a buck and a fresh $2 Dave's double with an app offer. It's such a good deal, we wrote a little ditty about it. Get it for a buck. Dave Single, Dave Single, order in the app. Dave Single, Dave Single, get it for a buck. Choose wisely, choose Wendy's official hamburger March Madness. Limited time offer, participating U.S. Wendy's. See offer details and redeem at Wendy's app. Account registration required. Fresh beef available in the contiguous U.S. and Alaska. If you only have a 401k, you're not getting the most for retirement. Wait, what? Add a Robinhood IRA on top, then they'll boost it by 3%. You can do that? And if you transfer in any retirement account, you get 3% on top of that. Is there a limit to the match? No limit. Robinhood Gold gets you the biggest contribution match of any IRA on the market. Sign up for Robinhood Gold at Robinhood.com slash boost by April 30th. Subscription fees apply. Investing involves risk. 3% match requires gold for one year from first match. Must keep IRA for five years. Match on transfers subject to additional terms and conditions. Robinhood Financial LLC, member SIPC. Welcome back to Westwood One's exclusive coverage of the men's basketball tournament from the Verizon Studios. I'm Brad Heller. Get the network you can rely on for your phone and your home internet and save. Find the plan that's right for you at Verizon.com. Tennessee leads Texas at halftime 28-19. There is one more game still to come, and that is in Pittsburgh. It is Creighton and Oregon, and actually the winner of that game is going to face the winner of Tennessee and Texas. And that game is also another reunion between a head coach and his former school. Dana Altman spent 16 years leading Creighton before leaving for the Oregon job. He's the Blue Jays' all-time leader in wins, but not for long, as his replacement, Greg McDermott, is only three wins behind. McDermott, though, has other things to worry about, like slowing down Ducks guard Jermaine Cousinard, who put up 40 points against South Carolina in the round one win on Thursday. Here is Coach McDermott with our Scott Graham. Coach, obviously most of the focus in this game is going to be on you and the other head coach because (laughs) two of the greatest head coaches in terms of wins in Creighton history. There obviously was no crossover there in that period of time. He left, you came in. It was a terrific situation for you. Your son joined you. The program takes off again for a second time. How much communication have you guys had over the course of the years? Very familiar with the job he did and the great job that he did. Uh, I think when you're competing against someone in, on a, a yearly basis and you're in recruiting battles with him, you're probably not best friends. Uh, but I think we always had uh, respect for each other. And since, we moved, since I moved to Omaha and have gotten to know the community, 
Dana and I now have a lot of mutual friends, people that he was very close to when he was in Omaha. They're now very close to me. And I think you learn a lot about a person by their friends. And as a result, Dana and I have been become pretty close. His, his family are huge Creighton fans. Uh, so we've really kept his family close uh, to our program uh, because we respect the job that he did. He did a lot of the heavy lifting for this program uh, to get them where they were, to get that arena you know, where it was starting to fill up during his last years. Um, so I've got tremendous respect for him. He'll always be beloved in Omaha. Now you take a look at what his team brings to the table. He's got a red-hot player who put up career numbers in the game on Thursday. We talked, you and I did, about in the Akron game, going after a player in the middle. You have a defensive player of the year three times over in the middle. This might be another step up in terms of what you're trying to defend in this game. No question. I mean, Kuznard was incredible yesterday. Uh, it, you know, when he shoots it like that, uh, to go with everything else, his mid-range and ability to get to the rim, he's a, he's a load. And, uh, you know, Dante, you know, when he's been healthy this year, uh, this has been a really good team and a team that's, you know, grossly underseeded as an 11 seed if, if this was their team the entire year. And, and, and it's a credit to Coach Altman and his staff for the way they have navigated a difficult year of injuries. And knock on wood, we've, we've had virtually no injuries all season long. So we, we, we haven't had to deal with that, but they have, and they, and they got themselves to the point where they're playing great basketball at the right time. They were terrific in the Pac-12 tournament and obviously dominated a very good South Carolina team yesterday. As you get ready to go out onto the court tonight, You've got a, a veteran team that's done this before. To, are you to a point right now where it's like there's really not a whole lot to say in terms of being able to be ready other than let's be us? Yeah, we have to be us. Uh, you know, but Oregon's matchup zone is different than what you see, and it can be challenging on such a short prep. So, you know, the messaging and watching a lot of film is, all right, here's what – Here's what we know won't work. Let's stay away from this. Here's what we think will work. Uh, but let's make sure we move. Let's make sure we take care of the basketball. And if you do that, I think you put yourself in a pretty good spot. But uh, our guys are ready. Uh, with, there's the the, uh, the the preparation throughout the year, the process that you go through to get to this point. Now you're just trying to finish a job. Coach, thanks so much and good luck. Thank you. That is Greg McDermott, the head coach at Creighton. I'm Scott Graham. Back to the Westwood One Broadcast Center in Los Angeles. All right, Scott, thank you very much. Creighton in Oregon, that is coming up. That is game number two in Pittsburgh. We're in Charlotte, halftime, the 2-7 matchup in the Midwest. Tennessee leads Texas 28-19. Want to update you on NC State and Oakland. The Wolfpack have the lead in overtime on the Golden Grizzlies, 79-73. There are 14 seconds left to go. It is NC State ball. We're going to get you back to Charlotte and rejoin Jason Benetti and Casey Jacobson after this. From the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network, this is the Men's Basketball Tournament. The madness is back. What March is going to bring us doesn't get any better. We've got every game of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament here on Sirius XM. Hear every moment from when the ball is tipped. Hoist the jumper. It's good. And to when the nets are cut down in Phoenix. From the first four to the final four. Don't miss Westwood One's coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament on Sirius XM. It's all on Sirius XM College Sports Radio Channel 84. Our Power 5 Conference Channels 371 through 375. And the all-new Sirius XM app. The upsets in March Madness live here. The ultimate upset has happened. Hear Westwood One's coverage of the NCAA tournament on Sirius XM. And after the best moments, get the best analysis in the game. This is about reality TV, Cinderella. It's all on Sirius XM College Sports Radio, Channel 84, and our suite of Power 5 Conference Channels, 371 to 375. You tuning in? Let's go. And on the all-new Sirius XM app. Whatever job you need to do out there, grab the right tool to get it done. The new F-150 with an available hybrid engine and up to 7.2 kilowatts of pro power on board to power things on the go. It's not a tool you'll hang in a tool shed, but you can certainly use it to build one. The new 2024 Ford F-150. Tough this smart can only be called F-150. Available starting early 2024. Optional features the owner's manual for important operating instructions. Hear the Masters exclusively on Sirius XM. Hi, this is Mike Tirico, and there's nothing like the, the Masters. Masters. Rory McIlroy, he's thinking Grand Slam. The beauty of the Azaleas, the passion of the Patriots, and the best golfers in the world vying for a green jacket. They turn right into the cup for John Rahm. It all makes for one of the most iconic weekends in sports. Join me for live coverage of the Masters beginning Thursday, April 11th on Masters Radio Channel 92 and on the all-new Sirius XM app.
Halftime score, 28-19. Tennessee with the lead over Texas in a 2-7 matchup. Winner goes to Detroit to play either Oregon or Creighton, who will be playing until after midnight. They'll be turning into a pumpkin later on after this NC State-Oakland game. Let's check the halftime stats in this one, sponsored by Barbasol. Feeling great starts with a great shave, and great shaves start with Barbasol Shaving Cream. For whatever your day brings, choose Barbasol. Barbasol, it's a can of can-do. Texas for the tournament is 3 for 23 from three-point range. The Longhorns are 2. Is that two good? No, it is not. Okay. Just checking. Quick check. No, that is not. Uh, they're 2 for 9 tonight. 1 for 2 only from the foul line. Tennessee's not much better. 1 for 13 from 3. The high man in the game is Tobe Awaka. He has eight. Tennessee has five players with four points. Texas has 19 points, and seven players have scored. I mean, this is like teamwork makes the dream work, but nobody's dream is really working no, offensively. It's more of a everyone's in a nightmare right now, but we've played 20 minutes. We get a break. They're in the huddles right now trying to figure out some adjustments, how to get their leading scores going. Max Asmus, no rhythm at all. Uh, Dalton Connect, no rhythm at all. That's the thing. Like, neither one of these teams has really grabbed, you know, the reins of, of this game. And as poorly as Texas has played, this is a single-digit yeah. game. They are still very much in this if they can get out on the break and, and start raining down some jumpers. All right. It's time for Casey Jacobson's Keys to the Second Half, sponsored by NetSuite. Now through April 15th, NetSuite is offering a one-of-a-kind flexible financing program. Head to NetSuite.com slash hoops right now. That's NetSuite.com slash hoops. All right. For Texas, you're down nine. How do you make it up? They got too many keys. They got too many areas. Yeah. Like, I wrote down three. They have too many turnovers, 11. They've only scored six points in the paint, and they've only made two threes. So I have to, like, hit the one in the middle, right? Which is, <laughs> I, I think Texas, they looked a little bit scared to attack the lane. I think Jonas Adu and Awaka scared them off a little bit. They didn't get to the foul line enough. So I'm, I'm asking the, the Longhorns to really just you know, kind of put their shoulder down, get in the lane, and see if they can create some hay there. For Tennessee, they got to figure out any way at all to unlock Dalton Connect, who just made one basket. Because when he makes one, that one can quickly turn into two and three, and then this game is broken open. So far, he's made no impact. 28-19, your score. Even with that, Tennessee has the lead as we move on to the second half shortly. This has been the Wendy's NCAA Tournament Halftime Report. Get a Dave's single for just a dollar and a Dave's double for just two bucks with the offers of the Wendy's app. Wendy's, the official hamburger of March Madness. Limited time offer at participating U.S. Wendy's. Redeem in Wendy's app. Account registration required. See offer in Wendy's app for details. Our halftime score, Tennessee 28, Texas 19. Rocky Tops playing on the right side of the floor. And when we return, we'll have the start of the second half. You're listening to the Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. I lock up my Old Spice Fiji Aluminum Free Dry Spray to keep that 24-7 lasting freshness safe for myself. Fresh coconuts, palm trees in the wind. It's like catching waves in Fiji. Actually, I just talked myself into a refreshing spritz of Fiji. My Old Spice is missing! No! Running your own business can feel a lot like running a one-person relay race. When you've got to expand your team, share the baton with Indeed. Their all-in-one hiring platform has smart tools to help you attract, screen, and hire quality candidates to your roster. And they don't just help you hire faster. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites, according to a recent Indeed survey. Nix the hassle. Start hiring. Learn more at Indeed.com slash credit to expand your team today. Where am my basketball fans at. Presents. Welcome to Fandom 101. The NCAA men's hoop season is here, meaning it's time for you to bring a little charisma and chaos for your squad. Be the sixth man in the stand. NCAA Division I men's basketball. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash MVP tickets. Class dismissed. Drivers who switch and save with Progressive could save hundreds, which could be life-changing. Life -changing. 
I mean, you could put that money towards that zero-turn lawnmower you've always wanted. And after using its edge-shaping technology to meticulously sculpt the face of the Mona Lisa into your grass, you'll become the undisputed king of Saturday morning lawn care, leaving your neighbor and sworn enemy Gary to question his place in the delicate neighborhood ecosystem. And it's all because you could save money switching at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates not available in all states. Westwood One presents Great Moments in Tournament History. March 19th, 2015. Few gave 14th seed at Georgia State much of a chance when they took to the court versus number three Baylor. And when they trailed by double digits with just under two minutes to play, those chances looked even slimmer. But a furious Panther rally set the stage for the kill. Hunter gives it to Shipes, back to Hunter for three. Good! Two points, six to play. Georgia State takes a one-point lead. The shot knocked Ron Hunter right off his chair. R.J. Hunter's dramatic shot gave Georgia State the stunning win and caused his dad and head coach Ron to fall off the rolling chair he'd been using to patrol the sideline after tearing his Achilles tendon, celebrating his team's victory to get into the big dance. With another great moment in tournament history, I'm Kevin Kugler. When Kevin puts it like that, it sounds like a very rough weekend. For Ron Hunter, tears his Achilles, falls off the chair, but you know what? A win's a win, and the NCAA tournament uh, brings you some wild, wild stuff. Like Texas in 60 minutes of NCAA tournament play has six assists and still can advance to the Sweet 16. Six. I mean, one-on-one -on -one is a part of basketball. You don't necessarily have to move the ball to score it. You can do it at the foul line. You can find, you know, talent, and Dalton Connect can create his own shot. Zakai Ziegler as well. Sure, great. But, like, <laughs> you know, an assist every once in a while if you're in burnt orange. All right, it's time to find out which team will get the job done. Start of the second half, sponsored by Indeed.com. Need to hire quality candidates fast? You need Indeed. Indeed's video interview tool makes it easy and effortless to meet with candidates. Visit Indeed.com slash credit the Longhorns trailing 28 19 and Tennessee will key it in with Josiah Jordan James he is one of the five guys with four points for the volunteers and we will watch and see when Tobey Awaka comes into this ballgame with his three personal fouls they'll start with Adu at the five in the second half as they did to begin the ballgame Connect to catch. He's defended by Kendall Weaver, who gets the start in the second half for Rodney Terry. Now Vescovy perimeter left, scanning and delivering for Ziegler at the top of the key against Hunter. Crossover dribble, driving Hunter, left lane line, reverse pass behind the back, intercepted Aismas mid stride, right to left into the front court. He finds a rocketing Hunter, shot off the window, no inside right. And the rebound, Tennessee, left to right. Ziegler, connect, left wing three, short front iron. Rebound is ricocheted around to Texas. 40 seconds into the second half, 28 19. Shot making at a premium so far here tonight in game two. Hunter shifts to his left and whips it through DeSue to Weaver at the right wing with his rainbow shoes bouncing for DeSue. It looks like they got a package deal. DeSue in the lane, rises and scores in the charge circle for two. DeSue has seven, Texas within seven. That's Dylan DeSue's first basket inside the lane. Everything else has been either from three or mid-range. Ziegler down low on a rim run. Adu is shot swatted away, called a goaltend. That was Dylan DeSue going high to smack that ball over the sideline. Now they can review this. Adu let it go. DeSue looked like a clean block. So they're gonna check into it during the timeout. It would have been Tennessee basketball. So they get the two for now. It's 30 to 21, but that likely is gonna come off the board, yep. right? Yep, they will check it at our next dead ball or timeout. Uh, media timeout they'll go over and they'll figure it out but yeah they can take those two points off the board and then play just resumes as yeah. it was what'd you think I, I thought it was a clean block as well i only saw the replay once though oh inbound intercepted vescovy feloniously down the lane to lay it up with a left hand for two santiago vescovy's first points Tennessee has, at least for now, an 11-point lead, 32-21. I want to give Vescovy credit, but he doesn't really deserve it. That was a lazy, terrible pass that just fell right into his lap. He's got an 11-point lead for Tennessee. Hunter 
Drifting to his right, bouncing it into the mid post for Dessou. Vescovi, staunch on him, knocked that one away, and Dessou goes down. It's a foul call. If he had that steal, that would have been all him. Yep. He didn't. It's a foul against Tennessee. Yeah, we take a replay. It was actually, that ball was tipped. So my apologies to Tyrese Hunter. It wasn't a terrible pass. It was a tipped pass by guess who? Zakai Ziegler. If, if you're keeping track at home, like you're probably up to eight or nine deflections already in this game. And we still have over 18 minutes to go. No, he is a problem defensively. Second foul on Vescovy. Teams first as they'll launch a pass out to Desu, who turns it left for Acemas between the rings. A long arm of Ziegler right in his face with a palm in his face. Acemas to the corner, loading up Weaver. A baseline drive. He's fouled on the way up, and it tangled on the rim and fell off. He was trying to stuff it. He couldn't get it down through, but two free throws coming for Kendall Weaver for Texas. A strong drive from R Weaver, who was in that corner right in front of his teammates bench but that was a terrible decision and close out by jonas adu kendall weaver is not a three-point shooter has only made eight all season yet he closed out to him like he was stephen curry <laughs> free throw good for weaver that's his third point jason benetti casey jacobson here at our granger courtside seats in charlotte keep your team moving forward with granger with over a million products including hard to find items granger can help your business get a leg up Call, click Ranger.com, or just stop by. Free throw good for Weaver. Two for two at the line, 32-23 Tennessee. That might shrink to seven at the goal 10 check. 17-49 to go. Into the front court, Vescovy holding the ball, walking with the dribble. Two-handing a pass, Ziegler. Right wing swoop down the back door. Bounce it into the corner. Here's a drive from James to rip it back out for Dalton Connect with a foot fake against Weaver. Banging into him, a burly drive. His shot is blocked. Some help side defense came over, and it is off of Dalton Connect. Evidently that was not deflected. He just missed wildly or lost the ball on the way up. It is Texas basketball. Yeah, he lost it looking at it again. So it's Texas ball. Weaver doing a really nice job despite the fact that he's giving up probably four inches to Dalton Connect. He's been really physical. That's four for Connect in the ball game. Texas right to left. Two for nine from three. Hunter. On the prowl, two hands it for Acemas, drop it back off for Mitchell, drive from Acemas, flow to right short corner, no. Missed time, jump for Weaver, rebound Tennessee on a counterattack. Ziegler trotting into the front court, off an Adu screen, he roams down the lane, hooks a pass, down low on the left side, Adu rises and scores. Great find from Ziegler, Tennessee by 11 again. Ziegler made all of Texas's defensive players believe that he was going to shoot that and in the very last second he dishes it Ziegler so creative at the rim as the Rocky Top song says wild as a mink sweet as soda pop Zakai Ziegler Rocky Top Tennessee Desu barging down the lane he's met by Adu swatted his shot Tennessee left to right connect for Adu driving trying to stuff it it springs all the way out of bounds as he missed a sharp bounce off the heel and Adu face first on the ground how many missed dunks have we seen in this tournament too many <laughs> but Adu he tried to flush that with the left hand and he took off way too far, but also give Kendall Weaver some credit. Like, he could have gotten dunked on, but was, like, courageous enough to stick his nose in there. Kind of hemmed him in on that lane line, and so Texas trailing by 11, but could be 9 with the goal 10 review at the media timeout. 16-14 in the second half. Ace miss dribble, handoff, left corner, 3 in the air over Adu. Nice closeout. It's well short. Rebound connect left to right. He saunters into the front court. Left-handed dribble, playing it left to Kai Ziegler at the left hash mark in front of Rick Barnes. On the drive, lobbing it up, and he missed Josiah Jordan-James by quite a bit. James ended up hanging on the rim, the ball out of bounds to the Texas Longhorns. So our score, at least temporarily, is Tennessee 34, Texas 23, 15-54 in the second half. They could change that goaltend. We'll find out. From the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network, this is the Men's Basketball Tournament. The women's NCAA tournament is on Sirius XM. It is going to be fun. It is going to be interesting. For the best guests. Don Staley with us right now. And coverage of March Madness. Tune into Sirius XM College Sports Radio. Hey, 
Allen Park. We've got you covered through the national championship in Cleveland. It's all on Sirius XM College Sports Radio, Channel 84. Our Power 5 conference channels, 371 through 375. And the all-new Sirius XM app. When property is damaged by water and fire, it's devastating. If your workplace falls victim, Paul Davis Restoration knows speed is of the essence in getting you back to business quickly. Paul Davis Restoration has been restoring residential and commercial properties for more than 55 years with locations across North America. Paul Davis Restoration leads the industry with advanced technology that reduces response time, allowing your business to continue with minimized interruption. When your commercial property has disaster damage, contact Paul Davis Restoration at pauldavis.com. The Difference Makers. Nobody brings you the excitement of Formula One racing like Sirius XM. Let's go, come on! Hear every thrilling lap of a worldwide championship chase. Verstappen takes the lead of the Grand Prix, and Hamilton couldn't hold him off. Plus, comprehensive pre- and post-race coverage. That race, that was the best race I've ever seen. The 2024 F1 season rolls on Saturday night down under at the Australian Grand Prix. Hear live pre-race coverage starting at 11 Eastern with lights out racing at midnight Eastern on ESPN Extra Channel 81 and the all-new Sirius XM app. Hey, college football fans, this is Jacob Hester. All season long, we followed the stars of tomorrow on College Sports Radio. And now we'll help you get ready for their next step, the 2024 NFL Draft. Every Thursday, check out a new episode of Draft Central on the SiriusXM app when Rhett Lewis interviews the top draft prospects as they work through the Senior Bowl, Combine, and ultimately wait to hear their name called in Detroit this April. Our team of experts on College Sports Radio gets you closer to the NFL Draft on SiriusXM Channel 84 and the SiriusXM app. We welcome those of you joining us along our network to Uptown Charlotte, Spectrum Center, Tennessee, a leader 34 23, 15 54 to play in this ball game. The shooting has not been outstanding. Three for 24 combined from three so far in the ball game. And Tennessee just had two points taken off the board. The goaltend was wiped away on the Dylan DeSue block. So this is a 32. 23 game right now Casey what do you think of the call uh, it was the right call it was just over you know if you pretend that the cylinder continues all the way to the sky any part of the ball that goes into that cylinder and touches it that's the right call it was a, it was a good block clean block it was not over the cylinder it was not on the way down and so the inbound for Texas trailing by nine again elbows out Dylan DeSue plays it back for Max Aismas through Tyrese Hunter. Those guards have been quiet. Aismas just three points in the ball game. Crossover between the legs for Hunter. He'll lob it up for Mitchell trying to enter it into the post. And we have a foul called by Terry Oglesby on an arm bar in the post against Tennessee. That's the third foul against Tennessee in the half. And it's the third foul against Josiah Jordan James, the 6'7 senior from Charleston for Tennessee, which will bring Jemai Meshack back into the ball game the junior off the bench inbound from the baseline floated up by hunter caught by weaver jumping for the catch left of the circle to send it along to ace Smith. ziegler hunched over him they'll switch mayshack picks him up it's a lob into the foul line taken by vescovy a steal for vescovy up the sideline ziegler three left wing around and out but not for long connect a two-hand hammer for tennessee and it's 34 23 volunteers 15 15 to go and that shot rattled out and it was a perfect basically an alley-oop pass for dalton connect he was waiting for it. Zip it to the foul line. DeSue got two of the year. Kick out Weaver. He drives into Vescovy, and he flares it up. It's a blocking foul called on Santiago Vescovy, and that is the third foul against the native of Uruguay, Santiago Vescovy. So foul trouble piling up three with three for Tennessee. And yeah, we'll keep an eye on this foul trouble, but look. One other thing, Tennessee's top two scorers, Connect and Ziegler, are three for 17 combined, and they're still up double digits right now. Wow. Free throw for Weaver is good for Texas. Three for three in the second half for him. Fans, you can listen to every minute of the NCAA men's tournament on Alexa. Just ask your device to open Westwood One Sports, and you'll be able to select the game you want to hear. Or get access to our March Madness Mix channel, which will take you to the best action at any given moment. That's open Westwood One Sports to listen on Alexa. Free throw good for Kendall Weaver, the sophomore out of Mansfield, Texas. Transfer from UT Arlington, former WAC freshman of the year. 
Knocks down the free throw. Texas closes to nine again. 34-25. Rocky top. Five minutes into the second half. Winner gets Oregon or Creighton. Zakai Ziegler hounded over there by Hunter. Driving in baseline. Bounce pass. Mid lane. Awaka rises and scores. Tobe Awaka with three personal fouls. Has ten points and an 11-point lead. He's made his impact felt on both ends of the floor. He's now got ten, but also four rebounds. He's just a really strong player. He is a Poughkeepsie powerhouse born in new york here's a drive and drop off hunter jumping from the baseline to weaver right wing three is a splashdown kendall weaver for three in the shot pocket rifled there by hunter and it's 36 28 tennessee 14 20 to go ziegler shimmying down the lane hops to a jump stop handing off mayshack and he soars in for two 38 28 tennessee in white 1408 to go Meshack knows who he is. He is not a spot-up shooter. He's a cutter. So when Zakai Ziegler drives baseline, he doesn't just hang out on the wing. He darts right to the basket. Ziegler is pass first in that mode, and he always seems to find somebody. He also tipped the inbound pass. Texas does corral it. Dessou top of the key, hoisting a three. Around and out. Rebound knocked out of bounds by Connect, who actually boxed out two Longhorns, but never embraced the rebound. Stay up to date with the NCAA tournament by following Westwood One Sports on X. We'll be posting highlights, tip-off alerts, and most importantly, direct links to listen to your favorite team live. Follow Westwood One Sports on X today. Inbound pulled in by Dessou, facing on Connect, swooping toward the lane, knocked away by Ziegler, an irritant certainly. Out to Weaver, he stalled for a moment, fired a three right wing, no good, and the rebound may shack for Tennessee. Once you hesitate, you might as well get the ball moving or drive it. Tennessee basketball off that miss. Ziegler hooks a pass hard into the right side corner. Caney jump shot. Uh-uh. Weak side rebound to Waka. Spraying it out for Connect for Tennessee, who nearly traveled, and then sloughs it off for Ziegler. We have a player down for the Texas Longhorns. Dylan Jasu grabbing his left leg. And, man, that, that forward, that young man, has had such knee trouble in the past. He is down reaching for his leg. Rodney Terry just came off the bench, and the training staff is working on his leg right now. Desu, as we watch the replay, just fell on his own leg on the way down, it looked like. Well, I was really worried. He immediately called for the trainer or the doctor to come over, but when the trainer or doctor came over, he popped right back up. That's why I'm confused. He looks okay. And that's good news. Tonight's broadcast of the second round of the 2024 NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network is intended solely for the private non-commercial use of our audience. Any reproduction, retransmission, or other use of this broadcast without the express written consent of the NCAA and Westwood One is strictly prohibited. Inbound triggered in front of the scorer's table by Connect to Awaka. 11 to shoot for Tennessee. Connect trying to muscle by Weaver. Drops it for Ziegler right of the circle. He charges down the lane. Kicks Connect. Gets the feet set. Left wing three around and out. One arm rebound Mayshack and he's fouled inside right. Mayshack has been a demon on the glass there. And that was just a man's rebound. Foul on Texas. Rick Barnes has had two guys come off the bench and just... <laughs> Be like, uh, you know, Firestar, Firecrackers, Toby Walker, and Jemai Meshack. It's been awesome. Second foul against Texas's Tyrese Hunter. It's a 10 point game. Tennessee with the lead. Connect switches back, swoops in the lane, puts it up, and scores off the window. Going glass. Dalton Connect for two. Eight points for him. The SEC Player of the Year has Tennessee by 12. That was a beautiful drive. Dalton Connect does not have his three point shot going, so drive the ball to the rim. As he did right there, lead is a dozen. Mitchell leaves it for Aismas, throwing it to the right baseline, and Hunter caught it while he was standing on the sideline right at the edge of the court. So it's a turnover, Texas, and the Longhorns have turned it over 14 times. Yeah, you can't win a game in the NCAA tournament against the Tennessee squad by doing that. And as a shooter, they call that a negative step. So Hunter was in the corner ready for the pass, and as soon as the pass came, he took a one back step, and that's what triggered that out-of-bounds call. And so Tennessee can grow the lead from 12 at this point. In the left corner, Connect also stepped on the sideline. Uh, we are leading the league in negative steps, Casey. <laughs> I mean, a negative times a negative is a positive. <laughs> yes. Here we go. Is that how it works in the uh, NCAA tournament? <laughs> no. Oh, my goodness. Texas ball. 
Breaching the front court, Max Aismas, who's been really quiet today. Just three points, one for seven from the floor. Weaver dribbled it off his foot. It's down on the ground. It's a UFC fight. And we have a tie-up called left of the lane. And that tie-up will go to Texas. I mean, all we needed was a mini North Carolina-based <laughs> octagon. There were four players all on the ground, and all four had a hand on it. Yeah. Like an octopus. It, w it was a little bit like right hand red. Yeah. You know, at the end of a game of Twister, and you're like, wait, you can't do that. We're gonna, we're, it's not going to happen. Inbound from Hunter, left of the goal, looking for Shedrick. Instead, he has to float it out. Ziegler goes high to knock it into the backcourt. It's claimed by Weaver. Now he revs the engine, bounces it to the post, and a foul on Connect, who went hip to hip against Shedrick. That's the second foul on Dalton Connect. Tennessee's foul number is growing enough to be really dangerous here. They got five personal fouls in the second half already. Texas is a top 55 free throw shooting team. Ziegler just velcroed to Weaver. They'll give it to Aismas left of the circle. Chased by Meshack. Aismas to Cunningham. Left wing three. Brock Cunningham is good. His 28th of the year, Brock Cunningham makes it a nine-point game, 40-31 to 31, Tennessee. 11.40 to go. Rocky Top trying to get back to the Sweet 16. It's a zone now for the Texas Longhorns against Tennessee, which is one for 17 from three. Oh, seems like an obvious adjustment. Ziegler hoists a three. That's a round and out, making one for 18. Rodney Terry gets a miss that time. Here comes Texas right to left. Aismas in a hurry down the lane line, kicks it Cunningham left corner. He walks it out of there, bounces for Weaver. He's met at the rim on a dunk try, had it blocked, but he got it back, and he's going to the free throw line. <laughs> wow, Tobe Awaka smoked that ball on the way through. That was Dalton Connect who got caught ball watching, and Tobe Awaka is there to help his friend on Kendall Weaver and clean up top. What a block. With, Beautifully done. With three personal fouls, Casey. I mean, that would have been really damaging. So a break in the action to score. Tennessee 40, Texas 31, 11 13 to go from Charlotte. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. At Charmin, we heard you shouldn't talk about going to the bathroom in public, so we decided to sing about it. When you roll in Charmin, don't you soft on the party. This is most of roll it back. Charmin Ultra Soft is irresistibly soft and more absorbent, so you can use less. Enjoy the go with Charmin. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Need a little help? O'Reilly Auto Parts can help. Need advice? We've got advice. No matter what you need, we have thousands of professional parts people doing their part to make sure you have it. Exceptional customer service. Just one part that makes O'Reilly stand apart. The professional parts people. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. At Progressive, we know money can't buy happiness. But money did buy your boat, where you find peace fishing, unlike at home with three teenage daughters. Because fish never argue about who stole whose crop top or get mad the other fish used up all the hot water. No. They just swim around, never embarrassed to be seen with you in public. So save money by bundling your boat or RV insurance with Home or Auto from Progressive. And buy more happiness or something close to it. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states. To win in basketball takes a can-do spirit. So shave with Barbasol and inspire your team. Raise that red, white, and blue can and yell, we can do this. If it doesn't work, you still got a great shave. Barbasol. It's a can of can do. A lot can happen between falling in love with a house and owning it. Having an advocate who can help you navigate negotiations, timelines, inspections, and more can make all the difference. That's what the expertise of a Realtor can do for you, because that's who we are. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network, your home for the national championships. Yo, it's Jacob Hester from Off Campus on College Sports Radio. For full breakdowns of this game and more, tune in weekdays from 3 to 6 p.m. Eastern on Channel 84 or anytime on the SiriusXM app. 
11-13 to go second half. Tennessee 40-31 to over Texas. And you can listen to the live stream of every game of the NCAA men's tournament right here on Westwood One. Sponsored by Wendy's. Get a Dave's single for just a dollar and a Dave's double for just two bucks with the offers in the Wendy's app. Wendy's, the official hamburger of March Madness. Limited time offer at participating U.S. Wendy's. Redeem in Wendy's app. Account registration required. See offer in Wendy's app for detail. Kendall Weaver to the foul line, eyeing the left side goal. His free throw is up, and it clangs down for Kendall Weaver, who's still perfect from the foul line tonight at 5 for 5. It's an 8-point game. He had 11 points off the bench on Thursday. He had five made field goals. Remember, all five of them were hard drives. He's had one three in this one, but what he wants to do is try and dunk it on the entire team every time he gets the ball. He certainly did last time. Free throw is good. 40 to 33, 11.05 to go. And here is Ziegler stalking the perimeter, bouncing it right, wide right of the lane. Adu, touch pass, down low, connect. He is challenged at the rim and fouled on the way up. Dylan DeSue, kisser to kisser with Dalton connect at the orange rim. And two free throws for connect. That was a well-executed play. Max Asmus was guarding Dalton connect, but he was playing too high. They, they drew up a backdoor play, and there was help over there. Free throw for connect is no good short. 76% foul shooter who grew up a Kevin Durant fan Dalton connect he knows how much Rick Barnes knows Kevin Durant free throw on the way and good he plays the Texas Longhorns today trying to take down his idols alma mater Tennessee by eight Asmus weaving to the right defended by Ganey who's played some nice minutes here for Rick Barnes four points off the bench Cunningham right of the circle, tried to bounce a pass, it's deflected, stolen by Ziegler, accelerating into the front court, drop it off Ganey, right wing three, around and out, rebound ricochets to Weaver, right to left, counterattack, Texas and burnt orange, a blur down the lane, he scoops and scores, there's your hard drive, 41-35 Tennessee. That was a one on two, he did not have fast break numbers, but he just put his shoulder down and got to the rim somehow. That's a team high 13 and a game high for Kendall Weaver. Ziegler shuttles a pass left of the lane for Awaka, faking it to connect. Now he leaves it to Dalton Connect. Standing still, Connect now, measuring Weaver, drives him, turn around, fade away, no from the foul line. Awaka swatted it to himself, and a foul called on Tobe Awaka, who threw a longhorn, lassoed a longhorn, you could say, <laughs> and came up with his fourth foul. I think it would have been fine like he tipped it to himself you mentioned that and he would have been just like alone to gather that rebound but he couldn't help himself he's just so physical after he, he, it, he just kind of pushed off a little bit but it was enough Vern Harris was only five feet away so now he's got to come out so Tobey Awaka is on the bench they'll play with Adu and James in the front court and now Vescovy is going to check back in so Ganey will leave. 10.05 to go. Texas is within six. Tennessee is one for 19 from three. It seems impossible that you could hold a lead against a good team in the NCAA tournament when you shoot the ball like that. It, it really does. Free throw good for DeSue. It was the front end of a one and one. Tennessee has seven personal fouls. Texas is 53rd in the country as of today from the free throw line. Very good at converting. Free throw on the way. And that's through. Dylan DeSue makes it a 41-37 game. This is a 9-1 run for the Texas Longhorns. Ziegler at the summit. Under 10 to go. He veers to the right. Drips back left. Two-hand pass. Snap to connect. Into the post for Adu. Walking it out of pressure with Cunningham. Now Ziegler driving, foul line, slides to a stop, bounces Adu, mid post right, he rises, can't score, it trickled off the rim from about five feet away, rebound to Sue, Texas right to left, Asmus on the gas pedal for Cunningham, left of the circle, Trey, no good around and out, rebound Vescovy, he's turned that shot down a bunch today, Casey. Yeah, but he took that one with confidence, didn't he? Connected to left wing, front iron, no, rebound to Sue for Texas, out of the fray, right to left. And connect 0 for 7 from 3. That's the SEC player of the year. Asmus drags the dribble right, 
He finds Hunter in the right corner, crossing over on Connect, driving, whip it out, Weaver, step back, left of the circle, three, no off the heel, and the rebound for Adu in Tennessee with nine minutes to go. Tennessee 41, Texas 37, winner to the Sweet 16. Zakai Ziegler surveys the horizon, doesn't take the screen, drives right instead and scores. Glad he waved off the screen. Zakai Ziegler makes it 43-37 Tennessee, 8.45 to go. He didn't necessarily wave it off, he just rejected it. He waited for Dylan DeSue, the big for Texas to get too high, anticipating that Ziegler would go to the middle, and he crossed over like Tim Hardaway. Got the job done, Ziegler. Has six points for Tennessee. Cunningham takes it in, top of the circle. Try to sharp bounce to a cutter, and it's incomplete, out of bounds. It's a turnover. He wanted Ace Miss and a diagonal pass, and he missed him. If Texas doesn't win this game, they have 15 turnovers right now. They're going to be kicking themselves watching this game over. They're trailing by six, 8.17 to go. Bounce pass to the foul line, juggled, gathered by James, back to Ziegler. Crossover dribble, skittering right of the lane. Touch up top, James, bluff the three, drives to Sue, gets in the lane, puts it up. It dangled off the rim. Offensive rebound, connect, hook a pass, left side, three, Vescovy, no sir. Rebound for Texas, right to left. They dodge two of them again, and here come the Longhorns. Hunter. Down the lane, layup good, just barreling through. Tyrese Hunter straight down the center of the lane. He's got four, 43-39, Tennessee, 7.40 to go. And back into this two, it looks like a 2-3 zone, but... But it's oh. broken. Connect, shoves it down with two hands inside left on a touch feed from Adu, 45-39, Tennessee. 7.24 to go. Button? Shattered oh, zone the light button. for the Longhorn. Right of the circle, Don't Cunningham. Me. Back to the goal. Stuffs it into the hands of Acemas. Right wing three. Acemas in the air. Bang! 45-42. Tennessee the lead. It's just three. Timeout, Rodney Terry. 7-11 to go. And the Longhorns hit for three. For the fifth time today, Tennessee one for 21, and we got a game on our hands. And ball moved from side to side. Max Aismas, where have you been? He had one three-pointer in the first half, but probably hadn't scored in about 15 minutes of game time, just the second bucket of this entire game. And with that, there's a break in the action. The score, Tennessee 45, Texas 42, 7-11 to go. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Getting ready to take on spring? Make your first move with steel battery tools. Right now, save $50 on the RMA 460V lawnmower battery set. Real steel. Find yours at steelusa.com. With AK-30 battery and AL-101 charger. Offer valid for a limited time only. Participating dealers while supplies last. The less your business spends, the more margin you keep. But today, everything costs more. So smart businesses are graduating to NetSuite by Oracle. NetSuite is the number one cloud financial system, bringing accounting, financial management, inventory, HR into one proven platform, helping you reduce IT costs, maintenance costs, and manual errors. Over 37,000 companies have already made the move to NetSuite. Now through April 15th, NetSuite is offering a one-of-a-kind flexible financing program. Head to netsuite.com slash hoops right now. netsuite.com slash hoops. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Getting ready to take on spring? Make your first move with steel battery tools. Right now, save $50 on select AK system battery tool sets. Real steel. Find yours at steelusa.com. Offer valid on select AK system sets for a limited time only at participating dealers while supplies last. Brad Heller back in the Westwood One Broadcast Center in Los Angeles. Let's check the tournament scoreboard sponsored by Just Capital. Just Capital is a nonprofit that tracks which companies are a force for good. Companies like Bank of America, which just earned the prestigious Just Capital 2024 seal. 
NC State over Oakland in overtime, 79-73. The Wolfpack, an 11-1 run in the OT. They're on their way to the Sweet 16 for the first time in nine years. Illinois is on its way to the Sweet 16, up 21 on Duquesne, 58-37 early in the second half. Creighton and Oregon, they're just underway. 7-2 Blue Jays, winner of that one, will face the winner of Tennessee and Texas. Let's get you back to Charlotte, Jason Benetti and Casey Jacobson. 45-42, 45-42, Tennessee, 7-11 to go. Second half, Texas off a three from Max Aismas, the hero from the bubble, Oral Roberts, over Ohio State, then into the Sweet 16, beating Florida as well. Now playing for Texas, and as the Longhorns within three. Zakai Ziegler pushes a pass into the post, swatted away by DeSue. Right to left, Tyrese Hunter jams on the brakes, off to DeSue, right wing on a jab step. Now back to Hunter, marked by Ziegler at center court. Off to Aismith, sweeping down the lane, drop it off to Sue. Shot fake at the elbow, step inside, shot no, rebound tipped out of the ground. Cunningham wrestles it away to the right wing. Hunter on the drive, tries to shove it to Weaver down at his feet. He somehow corrals that thing and then had it bumped out of his hands. Tennessee left to right, up the left sideline, Santiago Vescovi. Two-hand pass down low. Adu stuffs it in. It's from Ziegler on a diagonal find from the wing and a huge turn of events, 47-42, Tennessee. It wasn't a lob pass. It was like in between a lob pass and a bullet pass. Just enough air for Adu to catch it, keep it high, and dunk it. The old medium pass, got medium. <laughs> Texas at the left end. DeSue catch and shoot. Three, top of the key. No good. Wide right. Rebound. Fought for. Taken down by James for Tennessee, and he is toppled and down to his seat as Dylan DeSue hit him on the arm. And for Dylan DeSue, that's his third personal foul. So, here we are again. Another close game today. There's a break in the action. The score, Tennessee 47, Texas 42. Six minutes to go. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA radio network. Texting privacy policy and terms and conditions posted at textplan.us. Texting rules for occurring automated text marketing messages. Message and data rates may apply. Apply stop, opt out. Minimum purchase required. Interest accrues from date of purchase, but is waived if paid within promotional period. Go to windowappointmentnow.com for full offer details. Hey, College Hoops fans. It's the best time of year again. And if you're a homeowner, there's more to love than just incredible basketball action. Because right now, you can save hundreds of dollars replacing your old windows and doors with Renewal by Anderson, sponsor of Westwood One's coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. Right now, save $377 off every window and $777 dollars off every door just text march to 323232 for your free consultation and free price quote on top quality affordable renewal by anderson windows or patio doors for no dollars down no payments and no interest for a year that's right you don't pay a dime for an entire year text march to 323232 right now to save 377 dollars off every window and 777 dollars off every door but hurry these big dollar savings won't last long text march to 323232 before the savings madness ends small business owners we know tackling your to-do list can sometimes feel like going 12 rounds against a heavyweight champ except that heavyweight's gloves are made of something hard like diamonds so when a new to-do pops up you're like i can't i'm boxing my diamond boxing glove wearing heavyweight champ of a to-do list at progressive we don't want to make your day any harder that's why we make it easy with over 30 customizable coverage options so you can finally land a knockout blow see if you can save on business insurance in as little as six minutes at progressivecommercial.com progressive casualty insurance company coverage provided and service by affiliated and third-party insurers is this house a good price compared to others in the area are prices going up or down if i don't make an offer right this very moment will i miss my chance these are just some of the questions a home buyer might ask and these are the sorts of questions an agent who is a realtor can help answer Because Realtors have the expertise, data, and access to specialty training to help you navigate the process of buying a home. They provide support, guidance, and have your back every step of the way. That's what Realtors do, because that's who we are. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. Be a VIP with the NCAA experience of the 2024 Men's Basketball Regional Round. Score premium March Madness tickets and exclusive hospitality access. A VIP experience for the VIP fan. Visit NCAA.com slash VIP. Six minutes to go. Tennessee, the two seed in the Midwest, leading Texas, the seven seed. 47-42. K 
Casey. Tennessee's one for 21 ah. from three and up a nickel. No one has rhythm. So Rick Barnes has got to be in the house, like, figuring out how can we get an easy bucket? We're lucky that we are up five points is what he's telling his squad right now. It's truly insane. This is how good Tennessee's defense is, though, that they can be one for 21 from three in a game of this magnitude because a quality opponent and still be holding a two-possession lead. Got sort of the mortar and pestle to grind Texas into the ground. Here's Ziegler on a drive, flaring it out to James with 15 to shoot. Ziegler now outside right, burrowing right by Hunter. Wraparound pass in midair, goes pinballing out of bounds off of two burnt orange legs. And it's Tennessee ball with 11 to shoot. Risky pass there from Ziegler. Leaves the ground and tries to whip around a pass with his right hand. He's got four turno turnovers already. He's been a little reckless. Four of the 12 for Tennessee. Inbound connect. Right baseline. Challenge shot. Swirls down somehow. Dalton connect. Buries it for three. And it's 50 to 42. Tennessee, the SEC player of the year, rising up. And in one make, they go from shooting 4.7% from three to nine <laughs> in one in one shot. I mean, what a spike. <laughs> Almost that's, doubled. That's big time. <laughs> Texas ball, Aismas breaking to the right. Kick right corner. Hunter won't take the shot. Drive and dish. Left of the circle three. Dessou swirls out. Rebound connect. We welcome those of you just joining us across our network. Tennessee just got a big three from Dalton Connect, the SEC Player of the Year, to lead 50-42. to 42. He shuttles a pass for Adu. Foul line runner. He pulled the string short. Rebound, burnt orange. Texas right to left. Playing against Rick Barnes, their former head coach. Aismas roaming left, driving into the charge circle, and he's fouled and bumped by Meshack. Two free throws for Max Aismas, who's only hit two shots all day long. 444 to go. Tennessee by eight. Uh, he's only taken eight. He's two for eight, which is very unusual for Max. He's normally a volume shooter. He'll shoot it whether you're there or not. That time he drew all the contact by diving into the chest of Jemai Mesha. He'll get two free throws. He's a 90% foul shooter. First one is up and good. He's 21st in the country in free throw percentage for anybody of the 2,200 plus who qualify. 50 to 43, Tennessee with the lead. Weaver checks out of the ball game for Texas. Brock Cunningham at the lane line. Free throw for Aismas is true. Max Aismas, two for two. Texas has earned its trips to the foul line. They are perfect 10 for 10 in the second half. Tennessee, Ziegler dragging the dribble in front of his head coach. Off to James, outside left. Two pump fakes on a pass. He'll play it for Meshack between the rings. Mitchell backs off on him. Kick to the corner. Three in the air. James got it! Josiah Jordan James chucks it in from the baseline left. Tennessee by nine. 53-44, smelling the sweet 16. Here's a drive. Hunter, jump stop. Reverse layup is good for Tyrese Hunter. He's got two more. Six total, 53-46. Tennessee, 404 to go. And Texas falls back in this 2-3 zone. They're basically switching everything. It looks like a 2-3, but it's more of a sagging man. Ziegler fires a three. Up top, around and out. Rebound knocked around, taken by Tennessee. Connect, right elbow jump. He knew it was short. He missed it. And the rebound rang off the window by Mitchell. Up ahead, Hunter, right to left. Jump stop in the lane. His scoop shot is good. Diagonally knifing through for two. Hunter's got four in a row. Texas within five, 333 to go. It was a jump stop, but he jumped from right to left and covered about five feet of ground. Brilliant athletic move. Now Ziegler sweeping through at the baseline, hooking a pass for Adu back to Ziegler. He didn't take the three. He navigates through traffic, finds Meshack, driving the lane. Back out Ziegler, left of the circle, three. Too strong, rebound down, out of bounds to Texas. Oh, boy. Burnt orange, dreamsicle orange. Orange, you glad you stayed with us. There's a break in the action. The score, Tennessee 53, Texas 48, 312 to go. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network.
Running your own business can feel a lot like running a one-person relay race. When you've got to expand your team, share the baton with Indeed. Their all-in-one hiring platform has smart tools to help you attract, screen, and hire quality candidates to your roster. And they don't just help you hire faster. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites, according to a recent Indeed survey. Nix the hassle. Start hiring. Learn more at Indeed.com slash credit to expand your team today. It's NCAA championship time. Fans of the hustle. Present. Fans of the heart. Present. Fans of the flash, grit, and grind. Present. The best fans in the lands are bringing everything they got for their team. Be there when your squad hoists the ultimate trophy overhead. The NCAA championships. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash tickets. Class dismissed. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Need a little help? O'Reilly Auto Parts can help. Need advice? We've got advice. No matter what you need, we have thousands of professional parts people doing their part to make sure you have it. Exceptional customer service. Just one part that makes O'Reilly stand apart. The professional parts people. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. Great looking uniforms are an expression of teamwork, confidence, and pride. Cintas can help make sure your team is dressed to perform their best every day. We offer workwear and apparel that's comfortable and durable with a modern fit. From work shirts and pants, to polos and khakis, to Oxfords or t-shirts. And it all comes with weekly laundry service and delivery right to you. To learn more, visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. 53-48, Tennessee over Texas. 3-12 to go in Charlotte. And it's time for the Coles fact of the game. A win would send Texas to the Sweet 16 in back-to-back years for the first time since the Longhorns made it to three straight in 2002, 03, and 04 under current Tennessee head coach Rick Barnes. Now the Vols, meanwhile, are looking for back-to-back Sweet 16s for just the second time in program history. The other was 2007-08 with Bruce Pearl at the helm that's the fact of the game sponsored by Coles. it's a new season at Coles. find fresh everyday styles for you and your home at great prices shop Coles and Coles.com today 53 48 what does texas have to do casey to try to get back to the sweet 16. just get good shots without turning the basketball over 17 turnovers right now it, it, what's the crazy number is tennessee is taken 16 more total shots in this game. They're not making a lot, but they're taking more because they're getting to the offensive glass. Hunter driving the lane. His shot pancaked by Adu. It's out of bounds off of Adu for Tennessee. This is not reviewable. Tennessee thought Adu had spiked it off of Hunter. No, that, that went off the right hand of Josiah Jordan James. That's the right call. Certainly looked like it here in the replay we have. Inbound lobbed up to DeSue. Left short corner against Connect. He shoots over top of him for two, and it rattled out somehow. Rejected by the rim in a dastardly way. And here comes Tennessee left to right. DeSue has settled for way too many jumpers tonight. Tennessee basketball. James facing up above the left elbow. He finds Ziegler, who skids to the top of the bracket in the logo. Off to connect, right of the circle, nine to shoot. Can the star make a play? Instead, he sends it for Adu, right of the lane. Jump pass, low left, reverse layup is good. A wide open James puts it in, and Tennessee by seven, 55-48. Hunter driving the baseline, spins it out top to Sue. Thought about another jumper. Now shoves Ziegler away and fires and scores. See you, Zakai, said Dylan to Sue, and it's 55-51, Tennessee, 2.07 to go. And he just shook his head. Uh, Dylan to Sue, he's like, I- I've been terrible, but that one went in finally. Connect right of the lane, jumper faded left on him. Rebound deflected to Texas and burn orange. Up the sideline, Hunter sweeping in down the lane. His shot is up and good with the right hand. Texas is within two, a buck 50 to go. The Rick Barnes Bowl is a barn burner. Timeout called Tennessee, 144 to go. Rodney Terry, Rick Barnes, former assistant, clapping it up, and he is amped for his Texas Longhorns. 
Timeout on the court. The score, Tennessee 55, Texas 53, 144 to go. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Dude Wipes presents Bathe Your Bum. <clears throat> While TP may appear to clear your rear, it actually leaves behind dry, pilly gifts clinging inside your rump's rounded rift. There's no bigger bummer than a bee crack that's whack. You need extra large wet strength for an effective attack. To fully wash stains, stinkies, crispies, and crumbs, it's time to ditch the dry paper and bathe your bum bum. Your dump didn't deserve it so plump and so round. Use wet, flushable dude wipes for the best clean pants down. Welcome back to our Granger courtside seats in Charlotte, along with Casey Jacobs, and I'm Jason Benetti. Winning teams know the value of a good sixth man. Count on Granger when your business needs a boost off the bench. Call or click Granger.com for supplies and solutions for every industry. Tennessee 55, Texas 53. 144 to go, and worth noting, Texas has only committed three fouls in the second half. I'm trying to put myself in the shoes of Rick Barnes. What am I going to run offensively? No one has a rhythm. It's not like there is a hot hand out there. So what do they do? Do they go to their first-team All-American and Dalton Connect, maybe run him off a pin down or get him isolated at the high post? Or do they run a ball screen with Zakai Ziegler and let him create in the middle? 24 on the shot clock. We'll find out. They play it to Ziegler, who walks with the dribble, crosses over on the high hands of Dylan Mitchell. He'll two-hand it over to connect high on the right side. Surveying the scene, defended by A. Smith. Stonewalling him. Connect gives it up. Ziegler whips it hard. Adu running the lane line. Shot blocked away. Vanquished by DeSue. Texas right to left. A. Smith into the front court. And we have a whistle. Brock Cunningham is doubled over in the backcourt on one knee at the midline. Brock Cunningham is down, holding his waist. Oh, he got hit in the nether region. So as Jonas Adu went up to try and dunk that ball, he got a knee. Oof, oh, oh that, that hurts me just to, to the watch the replay button? on that. Come on, hit yep. the light a button. Knee, a knee downstairs, if you know what I'm saying, and he's down. trying to shake it off. He's staying out there. He's going to stay in the game, and so we got to time out Rodney Terry to make sure Cunningham can stay in the game because – the stoppage was because of him. So there's a timeout on the court with the score. Tennessee 55, Texas 53, 120 to go. Longhorn ball when we come back. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Where are my basketball fans at? Welcome to Fandom 101. The NCAA men's hoop season is here meaning it's time for you to bring a little charisma and chaos for your squad. Be the sixth man in the stand. NCAA Division I men's basketball. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash MVP tickets. Class dismissed. A minute, 20 seconds to go. Texas and Tennessee. It's a 2-7 matchup in the Midwest. Winner goes to Detroit. 55-53. Tennessee with the lead. Two timeouts left for the Volunteers. It's Longhorn basketball. And again, Texas has only committed three personal fouls here in the second half. So free throws are not forthcoming for Tennessee. What does this look like for Texas offensively? I like when Max Aceness is in pick and roll and doesn't force it and he tries to get to his spot in the mid-range we haven't seen that much today but that's one of the best things that he does and texas doesn't have a post player to play through dylan to is a more of a perimeter guy brock cunningham not a post up guy so i i think they're going to put the ball in the hands of one of their playmakers max Asmus or tyrese hunter Asmus 0 for 3 from 2 as the mop crew is on the floor. Building drama for us. Towels with two hands for one and a mop for the other. And they are all done cleaning it up. Inbound from Dylan Mitchell in front of the scorer's table. Sideline left. Here it comes. He floats it in the backcourt. Caught by Hunter. Two feet in the backcourt. 20 to shoot. 115 to play. High post left to Sue and burnt orange. Elbows out. Facing James. Driving right lane line. Twirling through. Firing. And it trickled out. Rebound. Follow wouldn't go. And a fight for the rebound. We have a tie-up. And it's possession arrow Tennessee. 
Wow, that was a wrangling down low, and somehow on the follow shot, Texas could not put it in. DeSue had it dance all over the rim. It just kind of tangoed on the rim. Hunter's follow wasn't there in Tennessee basketball. Wow. And a, and a physical altercation down there. It's like four or five guys trying to get in it. Are they gonna are they gonna review or oh no, they're just they're just wiping the sweat off the ball. Yeah, there's been enough uh <laughs> condensation as they say that we gotta do some work. Inbound Tennessee, 104 to play. Ziegler saunters into the front court. Zakai Ziegler, two hands a pass for Vescovy outside right. Tennessee trying to get to the sweet 16. Texas as well. Up top, Vescovy reaches and lurches to catch the ball. Drop it on Ziegler. Bounce pass. Adu driving dunk. He cannot hit it. He's fouled. Scraped on the arm. He goes down to the deck and two free throws. A one-timer pass from Zakai Ziegler. And face up on the floor, Jonas Adu will go to the free throw line. Oh, this uh, I just saw the replay. This looked all ball. I'm watching it right now. Adu and is Dylan DeSue from behind. It looks like he gets all ball. Jonas Adu falls, violently falls on his tailbone. Wow. It was not dissimilar to the Kansas Samford yes. play from just last night. Adu to the free throw line. Two shots coming. Free throw is up. And it is around and out for Adu. Yeah, Kansas two nights ago. Oh, and no, then you he, watch this one again. Yeah. So we got a, a, a third angle on it. The first two, it looked like it was a, a clean block. He definitely got fouled. Vern Harris got that call right. Last look certainly helped. Adu, shirt untucked. Triples the ball. Fires and scores. Jonas Adu makes it 56-53. Tennessee, 48.8 to go. Inbound to Cunningham. Stalling and handing it off for Aismith. Slowly walking across the March Madness logo, which has made him so many memories. Off to Hunter, right wing drive. He stops, he finds Aismith. He cuts toward the lane. He scoops with the right and scores. It's a one-point game. Aismith for two. 56-55 Tennessee. Down to 30 seconds to go here in Charlotte. Sweet 16 on the line. And they're going to foul Zakai Ziegler. So for Texas, with a couple of fouls to give, it's the team's fifth. Yeah, and they had to. The difference between the shot clock and the game clock was only five seconds. With that many fouls to give, you, they had to. They had no choice. No harm there. It stays at 21. Now, if you do that again and it's under 20, you're going to push it back to 20, and you just cannot afford that time coming off. Weaver will check back in. DeSue comes out. Heat in from Vescovy. I still think you foul here. Yeah, they, they do. do. Yeah, you have to. You can't allow them to bring the. You can't play out this possession. They're going to have to foul and, and force Tennessee to shoot shoot foul shots. That, that, that's what you I don't want to play it straight up with no. a five second differential. No, that's, that's not enough time. You're going to have to go the full length of the floor. Vescovy, the inbound pass. He's scanning. He lobs it in, and there's the hug foul by Cunningham. And they foul Adu, so they'll use the one and one here. It's a 5.3 differential or so. So 24.3 to go. Adu is not a great foul shooter. at 62%. So they get not only the right guy, but they get a one and one. Yep. This is important. Block out here for Texas. Make sure you're. Uh, Rodney Terry goes with this big lineup. The steely glare of Jonas Adu, a North Carolina native here in Charlotte. Bends the knees. He fires. And he scores. All net for Tennessee. 57-55. Volunteers, 24.3 to go. Hit the like button. Come on, hit the like this button. This is a bigger one, though. Subscribe, too. He makes it a three-point game if he makes it. Adu. Squares up, fires. He got it again. 58-55. Jonas Adu gives Tennessee a three-point lead. Texas does have a timeout. DeSue hands it off for Aismas. Snaking toward the front court. 20 seconds to go. Trailing by three. Aismas plays it to the right. Here's Hunter swaying the dribble. Has Aismas off a curl. Right corner three in the air. Way too strong. Rebound connect. He is fouled. And the SEC player of the year with 8.8 .8 to go. Will walk to the foul line on the right side of the floor off a miss from Aismas to try to help Tennessee put it away. All Dalton Connect has to do is make one of two here. 
Is this still, are they still in the bonus or is this? This is going to be a one and one. One and one. All right, so he has to make this first one. If he makes this first one, it's likely over. 76.3%. Dalton Connect. Oh, wow. We'll have a timeout by Tennessee. Interesting. I, you're talking about ice and the kicker. Yeah. So, uh, to me, I've seen this before, but I think Rick Barnes has trust that he's not icing Dalton Connect. He's trust that he's going to be fine, and he wants to set up his defense. Stay with us for the Bosch Night Performance Wiper Blades Tournament Post Game Report. We'll check the final stats, and you'll hear from a member of the winning team. Still in doubt, Bosch Night Performance Wiper Blades. Reduce blur and glare to help you see on stormy nights. Find them at auto retailers near you. Night Vision has evolved. Now, the question is, if Connect somehow misses here and Texas gets into the front court, Tennessee has eight fouls. Would you think about fouling up by three? I absolutely would think on fouling up three. In what situations would you do it? You make sure you don't do it on the shot. You have to do it on the bounce, and it's a situation that mo I, I'm sure both of these coaches uh, practice every week. Dalton Connect, born in Fargo. Off to Colorado, to northern Colorado, now here at Tennessee. Free throw is good. Dalton Connect, a long and winding road in college basketball to become a breakout star in 2024, may have just helped his head coach beat his own former team, Rick Barnes, the ex-coach at Texas. Foul shot in the year. And good again, all cord from Dalton Connect. 60 to 55. Texas coming right to left. DeSue drops it off. Hunter racing into the front court. Pull up right wing three. It is good. Long range, even with the logo to the right. 60 to 58. Tennessee by two. 3.9 to go. Timeout, Rodney Terry. What a shot. Contested. He rose up about two feet off the ground. Drilled that thing. Okay, so Rick Barnes, what is he telling his guys right now? Just inbound the ball. Don't turn the ball over. Rodney Terry in Texas. You foul immediately. And it doesn't matter who it comes into. You have to foul quickly. And remember, they are still not in the double bonus. It'll be the ninth foul, which means that somebody on Tennessee is going to have to walk to the foul line and shoot a one-and-one. One. They've also added three-tenths of a second on the clock. 4.2 to go. For Rodney Terry, a head coach who took over in his home state as the Longhorn head coach last year for Chris Beard. Rodney, the August prior, lost his father, a former basketball coach himself. The emotion bubbling on both sides here. 60-58 to 58 Tennessee, 4.2 to play. It'll be Ziegler at 5'9 to inbound it. He clutches it, he pushes it in, and it's Connect who's fouled by Kendall Weaver down to three seconds to go. 1.2 off the clock, and Connect will have another one and one. That slow, menacing, dramatic walk all the way 94 feet for Dalton Connect. They're going to take a look at the clock at the monitor. It felt like 1.2 was kind of a lot to come off. Well, Bronny Terry's on the floor right now. He's using it as a free timeout and trying to draw up a play here just in case Dalton Connect misses. They're going to put it at 3.8. So it's four tenths of a second that officially came off. This is really the Orange Bowl. Burnt Orange of Texas. The Dreamsicle Orange of Tennessee. Texas does not have a timeout remaining in this scenario. Tennessee 60 to 58, 3.8 to go. A one and one for the broad shouldered Connect, and he heaves it in. Dalton Connect, icy 61 58, 3.8 to go. This is the one, though. If he misses again, Tennessee could foul to avoid the three, but really you run the risk. Yeah, really risky. Second one in the air, and in off the front iron. 62-58 Tennessee, inbound to Hunter, streaking into the front court. Pull up, launch for three. No good front iron. Tennessee somehow escapes. 62-58, holding off Texas. Rick Barnes and Rodney Terry embrace on the far side, but it's Rick Barnes getting some measure of vengeance sending his balls to the Sweet 16, 62, 
58 in Charlotte. This was a defensive war. Nobody, even to the final buzzer, really felt like they had an offensive flow, an offensive rhythm. Give credit to these coaches, their assistants, and these players. Survive in advance. That's what this tournament is about. And the good teams figure out ways, even when they don't have their best stuff. They don't have their fastball. You got to figure out a way to get batters out. And Tennessee, man, it, it, it was ugly. It, they ha they have a lot to work on. They have a lot to improve if they want to continue to advance in this tournament. They shot just 34 percent from the field and beat a good team to go to the Sweet 16. That is rare. That rarely happens this deep in the tournament. You're you're so right, Casey. And and 62 58 your final. Tennessee, you know, people say defense travels right rebounding travels everything that goes along with it they didn't have to win this game but dalton connect at the free throw line down the stretch ends up making four gigantic free throws and looked like nothing of it right just a couple deep breaths put it up on the rim and down it went so tennessee advances to the sweet 16 and zakai ziegler stops by joining us courtside zakai ziegler of the tennessee volunteers how did that one feel on the floor? <laughs> it was a grinder watching over here. How'd it feel? I mean, it felt amazing. You know, the crowd was really into it. It was a, it was a really good game. You know, a lot of shots wasn't falling for either team, but glad we pulled this one out. Yeah, Zakai, I mean, I always say that good teams find a way to win against quality opponents when they're not shooting well. Your team goes three for 25. If I would have told you that you guys go three for 25 from the three-point arc, what would you have said to me? I would believe we still won the game, you know, because we hang our hats on defense. You know, uh, from the jump when everybody gets there in the summertime, we we real big on defense, and that's what one thing that we really emphasize, and we understand that. If you play good defense, you can always be in the game, always. What makes your defense so good? Yeah, I really said uh, intensity and that everybody is locked in on every possession. You know, uh, we might be up 20 points and say we give up a, a, a back cut or something, people will still be mad. So I would just say the intensity of everybody on defense. What do you take away from this game now that you survived and you're advancing? I, you guys can win a national title, but you got to take one game at a time. But how do you do it? What do you improve on? Yeah, well, you know, some nights the ball go in the basket, some nights it doesn't. But I'll always say uh, defense travels. Defense travels. You know, if we got that, we'll be in a lot of basketball games, whether shots are falling or not. Zakai, uh, as you move forward to the Sweet 16, if this team is going to win a national title, what has to happen? Uh, I would just say us being ourselves, being confident on uh, the an offensive end, keep taking our shots. You know, uh, we're not going to miss too many. We're not going to have too many games just like that. So I would just say really just keep taking our shots and being confident. Congratulations, Zakai. And uh, congratulations on getting to play against your guy Armani the other day. I <laughs> appreciate it. You know, it's a really good feeling for me and my family. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Thank appreciate you guys. Thanks thank for you. stopping by. That is Zakai Ziegler of Tennessee. His volunteers defeat Texas 62-58. All right, let's check the final stats. Sponsored by Allstate. Some people just know there's a better way to do things, like bundling your home and auto insurance with Allstate. 